Hello, everybody. I think I'm about ready to get started. We're back on the playlist from before. Although, as I said before, why they decided to include some of these themes over, uh, Clenching of the Fist is beyond me from Zillia. Jude's battle theme one better than his other one, which is what we're listening to, but whatever. Anyway, I'm taking a look at the anniversary event. I'm feeling a little disappointed. I know a lot of people here uh, that visit the stream have been helping with the runs, so it's not directed to you specifically. But the fact that Forrest went from like 72,000 at the beginning of the week to 80,000, and things like the atrocity quests are struggling to get like more than 100 points a day is a little sad. So we're going to try to bump up Tower. Is actually the least run quest, which I I'm kind of okay with. I actually like Tower. I prefer not to do Seabed unless we have a serious four man. Honestly, I could kind of solo carry Tower as a force. Words I would not normally say, but I don't care about that quest. I don't feel like I have a lot of control as a force in Atrocity One. Atrocity Two was okay. I do feel like a force did help there. So I'd be more willing to do Atrocity 2 and Tower today to start things off. But yeah. I don't know, chat. The fact that Forrest is at, at the time of this recording, 80,077 points, and things like the Atrocity, which is worth double per runner, at 9,752. I mean, yeah. <laughs> like, legit, Forrest is gonna hit 100k almost before. We get 10,000 in some of these quests. It's kind of like mind boggling. Almost every time I've refreshed, I've seen Forest jump up by like 50 points. It's kind of crazy. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and jump in. But welcome, Marco. I will play a Forest. Like, I know we are not doing the hard grind for like every time we go to play. But at the same time, like... I'm seeing, like, the total number of points for things like Atrocity barely go up, like, 200 points across a whole day. And the fact that we still put in, like, 40 to 80 points with this, uh, boost to different quests in our, like, once every two to three days shows that it's, like... I don't think it's that hard to make it go up 200 every day, I'm just saying. We should have been able to hit that a long time ago. So since we last streamed, I think it went up about 600 points across three and a half days, I think. Yeah, about that. Well, more like two and a half. Yeah, a little sad. I know Promethean was trying to promote using uh, playing Atrocity 2. I think some of those quests are definitely a lot harder to run without a solid team. But I'm gonna be real with you, Tower is actually surprisingly not the hardest quest on this list. Tower is kind of free. I fear no Tower. I care not for what it brings. Marco's here. Let's do some Tower. Honestly, I'm willing to even do it with just three people. I'm not willing to do Seabed with three people. I think that quest is really hard to do without really, really strong demons. And I think the accuracy requirement overall is just much higher than a tower as well. So for people wanting to get those last four or whatever points in Seabed, that's not going to be us. I don't, I don't want to do that quest unless we're very, very serious. So we just need one more person to run tower. We could technically do it with two people. It would just take a lot of time. Let's get some supplies. So I think Tower, unlike Seabed, I think offers more drops as well. Like, I'm more interested in, like, Psycho Wand, Lavis Cannon, V502 than I am about Zanba, like, and or Yun Chang, and or Psycho Wand there. So I just feel like the drops are also just better in Tower. Which is not a statement I will say very often, because most of the time, I usually feel there's value outside that place. Which is why Desert and Forest have some of the most runs, because they do have just nothing but value. So even the experienced players are going to grind Forest. 
But anyway, we'll wait a little bit for a third person, but hopefully everybody's doing well. Once we put in the grind, we'll switch over to other quests. Oh, I recognize this song. Disgaea 2. I haven't played that game in a while. Maybe we'll play that on stream one day. Oh, yeah. Now, now I can definitely pinpoint it specifically, too. I was, like, bobbing my head to it. I'm like, I feel like I've heard this song before. The other song was, I think, Lightning Returns, which I've not played. Uh, so is anybody willing to hop in for one other thing? I could try a two-man in tower. Honestly, I mostly just need somebody with traps. So technically, this is good enough to do it, in my opinion. I just prefer a little more damage overall. So good people a minute or so. Because the way I view this quest in particular, the force is actually able to like hard shut down almost every wave, except for the waves that surround them. So they need potentially either multiple frozen shooter users or one trap user. So basically Marco will protect me in the most deadly room in the game, <laughs> for the quest that is. And then after that it should be kind of free, because I can stun lock everything with this character. And then obviously I can use demons on Epsilon, which I'm not really worried about. So we'll give a uh, we'll give Chad another minute. We're not hitting that 20k goal, says Remote Battery. Also welcome Remote Battery. Yeah, I would say the only thing you'd have to look out for in this quest, this quest does stat check you a little with HP to survive Epsilon, but honestly, if you just don't pull the Epsilon, there's nothing really that scary in Tower compared to, like, the nonsense of the Atrocity quests. I'm definitely- I'm definitely less concerned about that than dealing with, like, double Delbeater Dwarfon in, like, Atrocity 1 or whatever. Like, yeah, I'll, I'll take two Ilgils by themselves over that. Welcome, Crimson Tears. So if there's anybody else that wants to hop in, we, we can see how it goes with just two people. Just finishing up a VR Crater, otherwise I would join. I'm willing to wait a little bit. I do think, like, having a third person would make it take from, like, 15 or 16 minutes down to 12. So if you're, like, two minutes from completion, I will wait, Remote Battery. <laughs> I'm just gonna be real clear. It's it's one of those things. Uh, we're doing just tower clears for the quest. So it'll be Psycho 1, Lavis Cannon, V502, Classic White Eye Drops. Dwarf on Wave. Oh, thank you, Crimson Tears. So I'll try to I'll try to vocalize for people that haven't played the quest before. There's only a couple of things where like I'm gonna need a lot of help on. And fortunately, because I'm streaming it, it's gonna be real easy. So I'll I'll repeat these things, I'll try to say them before they come up. But here's the rule of thumb. I'm gonna walk you through the first room, which is two waves in front, turn around, hit the back wave, and then I'm gonna stop the charging uh Del beaters. So right, that's that's number one. I'll help with that. Number two, when we get to the final room, I will need help. Every time you see an Epsilon, the wave after it is always a problem wave for me. So if you group up near the center, you can help me push a little bit. Oh, welcome remote. So I'll try to vocalize it as we get there and we'll, we'll get into a rhythm. So most of the time the quests, once we get into a rhythm have been less than 11 minutes. Some have been like just like 10 minutes and five seconds. They're not, like, super long, either. Yeah, demons definitely saves a lot of time. I think the difference of demons was, like, two minutes less on the clear time. So, definitely appreciate anybody bringing demons. Hang when TTF, says Tiki. 
I don't know if we'll do that. We'll see. That is very hopeful for Tiggy. I would like to get the events up to 10,000. Oh, two people have cleared seabed since we began this. I would like to state that Atrocity 1 and Atrocity 2 literally did not increase, but Forest is now at 123. <laughs> it went up 70 points. Hmm. I chat. Hmm. <laughs> it's, it's almost. It's almost like nobody's playing the Atrocity Quest. We'll deal with those eventually. I guess. I guess good fortunes to the two people that are liter literally running Seabed. I find that quest very difficult to play with only just three people. Like, it, it specifically has to be, like, Cast Force Ranger. I don't think anything less than that is worth running. As experienced last time on stream. Because then it's, like, a 14 or 15 minute clear with a not a great comp. And part of that was my fault, definitely, for Hunu Roll. I'd probably redo that with Force if I really had to. But at the same time, like, three players dealing with with five Del Beaters is kind of rough. I don't know. Unless unless they're both cast, then it's whatever. But just one cast trying to save up? I don't know. I don't know about that. <laughs> the five Del Beater lockdown is kind of intense with one cast user. Yeah, this quest isn't too bad. There's like a couple of problem waves, quote unquote, but I'm gonna shut them down really hard. So most of the time I'm gonna Rafoe uh, distant flowers and stun lock them, and then chat could do whatever. So as you get more comfortable with the run, by all means, go to where they spawn. But it's actually not that bad. And trust me, I, I am one of the least, <laughs> the least fanboyish slash I am not the advocate for episode 2, and I don't think this quest is that bad. We'll give Crimson a moment. Password is uh, King, lowercase, K-I-N-G. There we go. Yeah, the only thing that kind of keeps, it keeps like lower level characters out is definitely the fire resistance. No, I don't mind reviving as we go through that, but I definitely recommend staying away from Epsilon in the final room. I think up until that point, the quest is actually pretty easy. Epsilon is kind of annoying. But yet again, it's still not the worst Epsilon quest we've played by a long shot, so whatever. I'm looking at you horrendous, like, double Epsilon, double Ilgil, whatever. <laughs> it's kind of nonsense. Hmm. I was curious what game this is from. I don't recognize it. Mana... Emia? So my goal is going to be very simple. I'm going to be debuffing most of the time. After debuff, I'm going to go for demons. Uh, we're going to focus on two waves in the front, one in the back, and then I'm going to stop the Del Beaters from charging. And then that's room one done. Room two is just... I can shut down the flowers, but just pay attention to how they spawn. I believe it's one in front, one in back, then one in middle, one in... No. Whatever, you'll, you'll see when we get in there. Either way, we'll have at least one person facing forward up until uh, the end of the first murder flower wave. Then it's more kind of like middle back and back back. What I get for not playing it recently. But either way, my Rebarda is going to shut down the wave super hard. Which is a good feeling, because normally I don't like playing Force into Episode 2. I think this is one of the few quests where I actually prefer to play the Force. So just remember, two waves in front, and when you kill the second wave, turn around and look back at the entrance. There should be two murder flowers there. We're gonna go for a... What am I stuck on? Ooh, team with the really solid demons. Good job, team. Just remember, after this one, get ready to turn around. I got Photon Drop from Del Lily. That's rude. 
Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put out a little fireball, turn around, they'll beat her, will charge into it. There we go. Good job, team. Ooh, nicely done. Team is on fire right now. Ooh. So again, even waves like this, I could just rip always unlock if we don't have this unlock. You see what I mean? Like, these these enemies are not that threatening. If they were in, like, a cross formation, I would be like, GG. <laughs> like, we're gonna die. Just get ready for more murder flowers here. More or less. Sadly, there's no chests in the side pocket areas. Here, double ill go. Wow, this is, like, a brutal demonization of these enemies. The one in front, one in back. Nothing we can't react to. I got sat on, but that's fine. So we got the quad lilies, which again, I could just stun lock with Resond. I'm like a no pressure at all. Like, go ahead, reduce my HP to one, who cares? I'm gonna face forward, because I'm looking for, uh, after the Gaigui, I believe, is a triple murder flower. So I'm just gonna stun lock the triple murder flower. If you want to run ahead, it's fine. Yeah, I could just kind of do this and shut them down. That's super well done. I believe this is the room where we start immediately with the murder flowers, so just be on the lookout. We're just immediately going to have to deal with uh, two enemies here. So near the entrance is going to be an Ilgil and a murder flower. I'm going to need help with that, and then two people need to defend the walkway. Just get ready for that. So after the Sky Gui wave will be that uh, Ilgil near where I'm standing and Murder Flower. I will definitely need help with that. Ilgil is kind of annoying. Ooh, team is on fire. Good job, team. Hell yeah, get them out of here. And then after that, it's four in the middle. I'll just debuff. We'll deal with the Rico boxes as they spawn. They don't really matter. And then I think we're going to get another Murder Flower room in the next one, which will be strictly pretty much Murder Flowers, which is good. I want some of the rares. I'm just going to focus on debuffing here. Huh? Do I not have a... That's awkward. I apparently don't have Moon Atomizers. I was going through my technique menu there. My bad. <laughs> yeah, that was a fail on my part. Okay, so get ready to turn- so one person in front, the rest probably turn around. This is gonna be a murder flower on each side. Then after that, I think we can all more or less turn around. Yeah. Nicely done, team. Easy clear. This is the other one where sometimes it could catch players off guard, but honestly, chat's kind of on fire right now. So eventually we're going to go from front to back, so right now get ready for stuff to kind of ambush us closer and closer until it's the other side of the room. We're going to go ahead and debuff a little bit. Wow, I'm barely getting the Zalora out. They're dying so quickly. There's the back attack. Ooh, team is just doing so well right now. Good job, team. We're gonna deal with the Ilgil in front of me. Already froze him. Got him. Check me. And then I believe after that, as long as nobody's past the halfway point of the room, there's gonna be some Del Beaters that spawn right now. They're not gonna charge, so they just kind of walk into it. We don't even need to Twin Blaze them, actually. I don't know. They're kind of merciful with those. So the next room should start off with Epsilon. So I'm going to be the decoy. So after I'm the decoy, I'm going to need chat to kill the things that spawn around the ring. So I'm going to keep them roughly in the center. But basically, it's going to start with uh, Del Lilies, I think, in the middle. So just be aware of that. I will try to buff you if I got you near me. Just be careful. After that, just kind of stay near the edges of the room, and I'll, I'll let you know when I need you to come in. But basically, every Epsilon wave is scary. There's going to be one wave in particular where the Ilgil spawn in the bottom left. 
I'll try to warn you when that comes. We got a little bit of time. I'm gonna stun lock here. No worries, we can kill this super easy. So just learn where they spawn here, and then if you want to kill them faster, just remember where they spawn next time. And there's double guy Gui here, which is kind of annoying. So after this, I'm going to need assistance in the middle. So basically, once the Epsilon dies, I'm going to need people to freeze trap around me. Because there's going to be really bad Ilgil that I want to have perish out of this mortal plane. So one, once you deal with that, that's probably the, the room killer kind of spawn. So just get ready when this thing dies. Get ready to trap the middle of the room. Good job. Welcome, Flematic00. Zero zero. Hope you're doing well. Really good job, team. Okay, now you can back out a little from the middle if you want. Keep it safe. Just be ready that in, I think, two waves will be the Ilgils in the bottom left. So when the next Epsilon spawns, I'm going to be the decoy. So just get ready for that. I think it's after this one. I believe the ill kill are in the bottom left with Epsilon in the middle. Just be careful. Good job. Real good lockdown of those Ilgil. Okay, so after this, I'm going to need everybody to group hug me. If you have a Twin Blaze, you can spam it after Epsilon dies. Everybody get real close after Epsilon dies. Because it's going to be double Del Beater, and that's going to be the the annoying wave. That is kind of a knowledge check, sadly. So get ready. Ready to group hug. There we go. Good job. Good job. Super good job, team. Okay. You leave the middle if you want. We're mostly good now. And again, I'll just try to stunlock enemies so they never really get a chance to do anything. So from the force perspective, I debuff a little bit. I stop murder flowers from doing anything. Okay, nicely done, nicely done. I, I sort of forgot there was one wave in between before I described that, but chat was already on it, so never mind. So we'll try to remember for me next time that I need to ask for help on that wave. Other than that, it's basically free here. I'm just going to keep them Zalord, keep the team healthy. Team's got this. So we're going to be like a nine minute clear, not even. Damn, Demon's broken. <laughs> I'm assuming it's Demon Mech Gun. Something is just deleting their health. And then obviously, Hugh cast with Trap equals GG to most things. I figured out where Reverser is. Okay, I'm buying, I'm buying Moon Atomizers. Well, welcome, Flamanic. Nice to see people play this. Probably one of my favorite games. Maybe say we'll make PSO3 one day. Yeah, I was gonna say. That time I could tell Demon Mechs was involved. Look at that, eight minutes? Hmm. Thank you, Crimson. You cut out like three minutes, and then the team using traps cut out like another three minutes. <laughs> so between between the groove <laughs> dynamic, that saved a ton of time. So that was a very good job from the team. I, I would feel proud of that run. That was really quick. There we go. The call outs are on point. <clears throat> yeah, I think this quest is actually kind of fun, surprisingly. I like playing Force, because I don't have to memorize the exact position they spawn in. But if I know where the threats are, I could try to direct people to, like, group hug or whatever. So that way we could just be more efficient with it. You love Force in this quest, too. Yeah, because I know exactly what, what, what I can and cannot deal with. And as long as team is on the I can't deal with... It's mm, butter smooth, fast run. Love it. Great run. Sadly, I got a photon drop from the uh, Psycho One monster. <laughs> that was kind of rude. <laughs> the Del Lily, by the way, I think in White ID is Psycho Wand. So I, I definitely got hard trolled. But oh well, I tried. So yeah, I definitely think, like, challenge weapons save a lot of time, but, like, the difference between a mech gun and not a mech gun is, like, about three minutes. It's definitely worth getting, like, the demon mech. So Crimson Tears will be the, the example case of why you would want something like that for tower. Just because instantly killing an Ilgil or instantly killing an Epsilon is just, what a time saver. <laughs> 
It's like the difference of having demons versus Gurdabulu or not. Like, you could take a minute killing something, or you could take, like, five seconds. So, yeah. So, just remember, as always, for people that are just tuning in, it'll be two waves in the front. We're gonna shut them down really hard. See, I don't even need to rebard it, because the team is just so on it at this point. Once we do that, we'll have a nice little turnaround. And the best part, as I said before, if a team doesn't have, like, a ton of traps, I could be, like, the pseudo-trap user by just debuffing them here. I'm gonna go ahead and put a happy little fireball out for them. Oh, sucks to be the Dell Beaters. It's fine, I'll take the damage. Just got a couple more ill guild to deal with here, nothing too big. And see, there's an example where I slowed both of them down with Rivarda, and then team actually freeze trap. So I'm like, as long as I just don't let them go uncontrolled. And see this, I could just Rifoe that as a force. What are they gonna do? Such a fast clear. Yeah, the double guy we start here. This room I have to work on memorizing a little more. I think the split with the Gibbles on either side is interesting. Like, see that? See that Sunlock? Mmm. Held them still for the team. <laughs> it's like, I don't have to do damage. I just have to make sure that they just don't do anything ever. So I have Glide Divine for this spawn in particular to make sure I'm able to debuff both of them. Now I'm going to inch my way forward to deal with the Ilgils and Del Lilies. That's all Thunlock with Resond. The worst thing that happens is they 1 HP me, which I don't really care. Again, if team plays a little further back, it doesn't really matter. I can compensate. Nice. Well, I think I actually got a kill there. A rare. Ooh, that's set up into the freeze trap. That was nice. Which font is found? DV Saber. So I like that if you stay on the left side here, they can't really do much. Like, this idiot just charges into a wall. So we have triple Gaigui to kind of set up our team comp in between. But as long as I have, like, a little bit of protection, I'm good. And I'll prefer to use Glide Divine on the next wave. Just because, uh, that will save some time. Oh, there's the Gaigui. Oh, he's not targetable to me. That's so sad. So once team protects me from this, I'm mostly good. Wow, that was fast. That was really fast. Good job, team. <laughs> Basically, what happened was near him. Um, <laughs> the enemy health bar raised to zero. Yeah, the triple gibbles here is a little annoying. I think team's doing a good job of being really aggressively forward. I think that's helped a lot. Yeah, I landed a couple demons. Better than better than not landing any. And the nice part is, like, when it goes into, like, Epsilon and things like that, I don't have much to worry about. It'll be two in front, then two in the back. Or, uh, split focus, excuse me. Split focus, then two in the back. Silly me. I got ahead of myself there. Yeah, nice job, team. Good shutdown. Yeah, surprisingly, the Del Beater that spawn in this room don't actually charge in. They do their, like, stopping animation. So you don't even need to, like, time a Kofoe or anything on them. I thought for a while you did have to do that, and I'm like, oh, you actually don't even need to do it. It's funny when you do it, though, because then they go in a stagger animation. So I'm not even going to say, like, to not do it, but I'll say it's, it's also not 100% necessary. Nice, freeze. I'm getting, like, two shots out with demons and they die. <laughs> team is just too strong. I right, we'll keep team healthy. We gotta worry about the Ilgil. Team's already on that. Good job. And then finally, the Del Beater, which will just kind of charge in, stop, and probably die against chat. Yeah, see, they just calmly group together. They landed a Demons there. Ooh, a Gold Badge. Take that. I'll go in first, because I don't mind being targeted. I'll eventually buff people once we get past this phase. Because people have to get close to me anyway at some point.
Just remember, I'll be surrounded by the murderer, the least. At that point, I'll try to buff you. There we go, I got everybody buffed. And I'll do my best to kind of slow them down a little bit by, uh... Oh, I got distracted by the rare there. I'll try to slow them, down, slow them down a little bit with Razan. Like, when they come in the triangle formation coming up, I'm just gonna be like, Nope. 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 Oh, were you doing something? Nope. Not allowed. Forbidden. I'll debuff the room for the team. Maybe I'll get a guy we shot in. Ooh, 50 hit discovery, man. Nice. Yeah, that's a lore should probably help it. Okay, that's fine. They'll need help again after this. Nice, nicely done. Nice paralysis. I'm really liking the team adaptation here. If I remember correctly, it's Gibbles into... I think I'm in danger? I always forget which wave is the exact I'm in danger wave. It's gonna be double ill gill, so as long as, like, somebody stays near me, I should probably be fine. Gotta deal with the double ill gill here. Yeah, that's fine. There's one more wave in between, maybe. Get rid of you. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. It's, it's double ill gill in the bottom left right here, yeah. There we go. I just remembered. Okay, so that's done. And then we'll do a group hug against Delbeater. And then we'll kill the wave, and then I think it's also another double ill kill wave. Yeah, it should be, I think. Group hug time. Nice freeze. Oh, ultra dead Delbeater. Ultra dead. I think after this might be the double ill gill and then flowers on the side. The nice thing is the force, by the way, is that I can actually shut down the flowers completely. As long as you protect me from ill gill, I'll keep everybody safe. <laughs> Just, there we go. I'll slow them down. Because <laughs> what are they going to do? They have to recoil when hit by Razan. So yeah, we can make that just like super safe. And final wave again. Team's definitely on fire. These are some of the fastest runs I've seen of towers so far on stream. I think we got as low as like a 9 minute 30, but I don't know if that was on stream or not. But definitely going anywhere near 8 minutes is hilariously fast. So pretty much this Epsilon is just biding its time for its inevitable demise. Goodbye. Hey, that was even faster than before. Mm, no tower drops, sadly. So we'll do a few more of these. I'll check what song this is. Ari Tayami? Not sure what that is. Thank you, Plagmatic, for the follow. So the other one was Grand Knight, which I didn't recognize. I don't know, Kaiseki. Don't know that one either. Go to Way of the Samurai 2. So yeah, I think we're we're getting to the point in the stream where I will probably finally decide to get challenge mode weapons. Now that I think most of the group is up to a level where they could carry, I gotta step it up. That poor two-man group is still running seabed. Pour one out for the two people running seabed chat. They're 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 giving it their all. It went from 993 to 997 across two updates. Yeah. I, I haven't done challenge mode at all. We'll probably do it on stream once or twice. So we've almost made tower catch up to Atrocity 1. Which, by the way, has not moved since the start of the stream. True story. <laughs> Rip. 
35 minutes later, we got Tower almost on par with it. So we'll keep doing these runs, because they're actually pretty good with some of the Demon Vent gone. I actually have like zero complaint about the XP with it. With two casts, I'm feeling ultra safe. <laughs> so I have the bodyguards. I'm like, listen, they got the freeze traps. There's a twin blaze, so I don't have to worry about timing Gafoe too early. Like, oh, what a thing of beauty. You've done challenge mode, you can help a bit. Yeah, definitely it's going to be a big learning process for me. I have never played it on any system before. And it's multiplayer only, so it's not like something I could practice off stream necessarily. Makes it a bit more challenging. Oops, someone has not talked to the console. It is not me. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna get knowledge checked super hard on the routing. There's a couple bosses I think I do genuinely need to practice, depending on what character I'm playing. Like, knowing all the spots to stand on, like, the worm boss in Episode 1, I honestly see as, like, the biggest problem for me. I feel like that's gonna be, like, the run killer. I'm more scared of that worm boss than Olga Flo, I'm gonna be real with you. I've been runneth over. Nicely done from team. Yeah, I'm not looking to make like a world record pace, but I definitely just want to make sure we clear for S rank. I don't have a good sense of how tight it'll be, since I don't know the maps at all. You did it two man? Hmm. Definitely good that it could be cleared with two people. I'm thinking of running Phonu Roll for it or Phonu Men. And then people have to get used to just, I'm not gonna rest to you. <laughs> like, I'm letting you know early. Boss fights, maybe. Ain't clear, not really. Silly double bell beater. Alright, uh, that's good to know. If it's not that tight, that's good. I would love to first try it. I'm gonna quick fly divine so that way I could debuff everybody. Demons, please. Oh, that's a little better. At least I got a demon there. I'll take that over literally zero. I definitely want to give chat the chance to name my weapons. And then I might just purchase some. I don't feel like doing potentially millions of challenge mode. Challenge mode, I think, is like one thing I want to experience once and then like never again. <laughs> just be like, this is my challenge mode weapon. I earned episode one, episode two, never again. That's how that's how I view it at the moment. And gun gold, nice. Congrats. Casual Ubers, don't mind. <laughs> yeah, there's quite a lot of Ubers in this run. So Lava's Cannon is from Gibbles. I forget which monster, which, which flower specifically is gold. Yeah, there's a lot of opportunities for value in this quest. But obviously, you know, if your team is like all like 120s, 130s, 
yeah, you're probably not going to be able to complete the run. But, you know, for all the people that are, like, 160 plus, I'm like, ah, oh, this quest is easy. It's a little demons, and it goes so much faster. Oh, I actually landed demons. Oh, I did it? Am I going to get a kill? Yeah! I actually got a kill in this quest. I did it. I am the victor. That's my mini game. If I could somehow last hit something in this quest. Okay. I'll take its attack detention for the team. And that's the nice thing, is I already have invincibility from the other room. Sato's spinning in glee, making me immortal. Thank you, Sato. You saved me some restos. Yeah, that, that last little spin of the uh, Epsilon is kind of annoying. Nope. 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 You thought you were spellcasting on us, but no, it was I, Razan. Get out of here. Almost got to debuff uh, Gagui before it died. I was like, or demon it, I meant. <laughs> I managed to get two shots in. Nice, I got invincibility again. Yeah, this is also why invincibility mags are super strong in this quest. I thought I'd just give a call out to that. I have a Sato, which is not ideal for this quest, but if you have like a Nidra or the, uh, what's it called? Or the ba, 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 Talesius, which is what we're seeing from Remote Battery. The 55% base chance of it going off whenever you get low on health is going to trigger more than you think due to the Dell Lilies potentially reducing you to 1 HP. So you just end up being invincible for like a third of the quest if you have good triggers. To the point where like invincibility will also ignore Americus and stuff. Go up the team a little. Oh, that was rude. Yeah, that thing's fire damage is high. I think it's 1550. Do you need just like insane fire resist or just a ton of health? I have an insane fire resist at 39%, so it is really not gonna hit me through three seals. Do a little group huggy. Just a little group hug, nice. Nice and easy. Oh, I got badged. That was so rude. And I'll need assistance with the Ilgil. Oh no. Rip. I'm gonna shut down the waves. I'm gonna do my best to make sure the team can do damage again. There we go. Recovery. I unfortunately got assassinated. You know what the sad part is? We had a team wipe there, basically. And we're still gonna end it like 808. <laughs> like, this thing is gonna try really hard to live past 8 minutes and 8 seconds, but not looking good. Oh gosh. Not looking good. Uh, I can't move or I'm gonna move Epsilon. Uh, so yeah, we still be 808 somehow. Oh, ran out of free straps at the end. No worries. It happens. Yeah, for raw moral, it's kind of tough without HP materials, I would say. Because you have to think of it this way, right? Like, Heavenly Resist, or like something that's purely Fire Resist, will actually offer you more health than a Heavenly HP will, effectively against Epsilon. So you'd have to willingly put something on with High Fire Resist, which sadly usually just means Red Ring. I think he says I played so much Athena in King of Fighters 13. It is indeed King of Fighters 13. 
Yeah. It, wait, Ignite Cloak on who? A force? Or do you just... I don't... I was like, I, I don't think a Raw Moral could wear it. Go back. Usually I just wear three seals. To be honest with you, like, look at how much it adds. I don't need anything more than that. Like, my 972 will survive. Also, if you wear Glide Divine, it makes your fire resistance 54, which is hilarious. That means you can survive at 800 HP. <laughs> it's not very fair. Forces can cheat really hard. So for forces, the stat requirement to do the quest is super low. Otherwise, you would have to potentially give up a good shield, which is not ideal for, uh... Oh. I didn't hand in the quest. Second. Which is obviously not ideal for rangers. Hopefully I didn't... Hopefully I don't have to just, like... Go back. That would be annoying just to hand it in. <sighs> really? I have to touch it for real? Man, I thought if anybody touched it, it counted. I gotta go back. Welcome, Sir Pearl C. How annoying, chat. <laughs> it's not like the other maximum attack quests. Yeah, frames have terrible resist. can't exit the quest because something's blocking it. That's so sad. One second. Baited by a divinity barrier. There we go. Now I can hand it in. That was like the battle of all battles. Yeah, most of the time you'll end up with only like 16-ish fire resists. Not super high. Yeah, Crimson Code I actually do like for the resists. Meanwhile, you wear something like Secret Gear and it's like, what, 24, 26 fire resists? Ah, sorry about the delay. Let me, uh, put my Rappy Mag away because I don't need it right now. That way I can hold one more item. Yeah, I thought I could teleport out and end it, but they're like, no, Val must talk to the console. Whatever. You have to think of it this way, 10 fire resist is about 150 health, effectively, versus the 1550. So it's gonna be tight for a while. Having a thousand health helps, you just effectively need to somehow earn the 550 more, whether it's fire resist or whatever. So even something like a perfect resist would still give you about 120 health per. Yeah, so, so weirdly you'll actually live more with a dedicated fire resist unit, or even a uh, yellow unit for resists. It's one of the few times in the game where the resist is actually better than Heavenly. to the wrong quest. So I was like, wait a minute, that's not the right menu. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't know if I have any purifier resists. I probably have a couple of perfect resists or whatever. I give 12 to everything. Landed one demons. That's all I wanted. Goal in life achieved. They are ultra done. Ooh, the disrespectful twin blaze trap. Poor Delveters. They almost got to do something. Nice casual Rika Squall. Nice. Thank you, Galvishim. 20 hit. Nice, nice. to see how many points things were at. We'll check again in a moment. Ultra dead. Material, but I think that's too greedy to go for. And now that I debuffed, now I could go get it. <laughs> so I think I've been getting a very crazy high number of PDs. Honestly, I might just buy a few smart links. I have a surprisingly low amount of them despite having like three characters that can hunt for it. And have hunted for it, technically. That's not a very expensive unit. It'd be a big quality of life if my forces all had one. Because at this point, I, I picked up enough PDs that I could afford it without really cutting into challenge mode weapon PDs at all. Nice level up. Because even like the XP per second is kind of insane. Like we're still getting like almost uh, 120 XP a second. It's very silly. Oh, they're ultra dead. GG. Photon drop from them. That was so rude. Ouch. That was my fault. I was too close. This sounds weirdly familiar. I have to, th I have to listen to it a bit more before I make a song guess though. It's a remix of something I've heard before. Oops. Oh, it's a Capcom game. I'm listening to it now, and I'm like, wait a minute, this is starting to sound more familiar. Have I played this version? It's, uh, it's Mega Man, but I have to think about which one. It's definitely a modern one, it's not like... Oop, rip.
Yeah, you could you could do the calculations. Like if you have 30% fire resist against like 1550, it means you resist approximately let's say 450. Dude, you would still need like a lot to live, sadly. You'd probably have to literally put on like a heavenly to survive. If you give the exact fire resist, I could tell you exactly how much more HP you need or fire resist. That here, Jolily. I'm gonna say it's command mission. I think that's my final guess. I feel like I've heard it, but I've not like played played the game. Good team. Let's get some buffs back in here. Ooh, I got moved out of the center. That kind of sucks. me. Uh oh. Team no, don't party wipe on that. Panic mode. There we go. Let's try to get some buffs. Ooh, don't die. There we go. Epsilon was putting in the work, apparently. a good recovery. Yeah, that was definitely scary. When team died right before the quadruple ill go, I was like, oh no. That's where you Robardus fam. Listen, instinctively, I'm like, listen, that's gonna buy so much time. They're gonna be stun locked for like 12 solid seconds. And if I freeze any of them, add like three more seconds. Alright, so we're gonna group hug after this. Demons please. Ow. What? How did I- What? How did I die and no one else died? Wait, what? Shenanigans. <laughs> I got- I got hardcore sniped. I almost want to replay on that. I was like, how? There's somebody in front and behind? And nobody died to piercing Megan? What? I felt a little targeted. Ah, can't buff. Maybe I should wear... Oh, Gagui's body. I think that's the first time I've ever gotten that to drop. I think that, yeah, I I really want to see a replay of that. I Like, honestly, like, I swear I died between two people and no one around me died. Like, that was actually shenanigans. <laughs> it's like, I've never seen that so single target before. Oh, well. Get rid of these. Yeah, I think that's my first ever Gaigui body. For a while, I was thinking I was going to get that before a Cannon Rouge, and then uh, Episode 2 decided, no, thou shalt not receive items. And this is the first time I have ever received this across, what is it, like six characters I play? And like three of them with valid IDs for it? So sad. So that was indeed Mega Man X Command Mission. Take a look at the anniversary. Ratings real quick. Are those two people running seabed clear it. Oh, they did it. I'm so proud of them. They're at they're at ten thousand eight now. Those those are the troopers, the two pointers, because they were definitely two man squatting. Although it's now at eight points, so I think somebody joined them or something. Cause I'm not sure how, how it went from nine nine seven to eight with only two people. So we finally put tower above atrocity, which I think has gone up ten points. But that doesn't... I guess there's a group of three and a group of two or something? No. 
I can't imagine somebody soloing that quest. My brain is like, no way. I don't believe it. Uh, let's do a quick check on how many items I received this week. So, 14 of the basic materials. Not a ton of materials. <laughs> Chat, as a reminder, uh, two sessions ago I was at 48 photon drops. Uh, yeah, I think I'm good now. I think I am good. I mean, considering I still have one on each of my remaining characters, that's very silly. Ooh, tri-fluid. Only clears on alt count, that is correct. So now we're officially bringing up the, the, the quest. Tower finally surpassed Atrocity. We did it. So we'll do a couple more of these. So that way we could say we really put in the grind, because it, it goes very fast with a, a team this good. Sure thing, Marco. So I think around, I guess around 35 fire resists would mean that you take like a thousand and seven damage. Doing math correctly. I don't think you need like a crazy amount of fire resistance. If it does 1550. Because it's like, you have to think of it this way. If it's 1550, it's 155 per 10. You can mathematically calculate exactly how much you need to live. You have 30. So if you have 30, that means it is doing a total of 1,085 to you. Assuming I did quick math there. Yeah, you're not off by very much. So as I said before, like you could squeeze out more fire resist. Because it's technically more effective that way. So in theory, if you were running double fire resist, I think you would live. So if it was like 12 and 12, and then you got like another 15 or so from armor, you'd survive, even without 100 heavenly HP. Because you have to think of it this way, if it's 10% is 150, Having a total, oops, having a total of 12% per is quite a lot. So we could probably mathematically shift it a bit in your favor. It sounds like you're only off by like a really tiny amount. So if you had room for a, a 12 fire resist, yeah, I could probably loan you a unit that gives 12 fire resist, which is effectively more. It basically gives you like 40 extra health, I think is how it works. Because it's 1550 plus 15 plus 15, I think. So it adds about 180 health effectively. Instead of 100. So it nets you another 80. So if you're only off by 70, I think that means you live? If I'm mathing correctly. Yeah, you're only like A level and then that fire resists off from living. This sounds really familiar. Can I place it though? 
reminds me of a Tails game almost. I have to think about it a bit more. I like the song though. One second as I move this out of the way. into my other tab. That's weird. Sorry about that. I got super stuck on something. Alright, let's move forward. We'll ignore that for now. I mean, this has to be from Tails. Which one is it, though? It sounds like a remix. That's where I'm getting thrown off. Like, it's not... It's not Berseria. It's not the game after Berseria. I don't want to say it's Zillia. It could be Zillia 2. Because I'm saying it sounds like a remix. I'm going to hard lock in. I'm going to guess this is from Zillia 2. Alright, what is it actually from? Zillia 2, keep pushing until the sword is exhausted. Hell yeah, there we go. We arrived at the correct destination. It took me a minute. I did not get very far in that game, but I have played that game before. I got bullied. Yeah, so we're gonna buff everybody while I got a chance. I think that's where I can make a small correction on my side, rather than force people to get close. Because this is like three minutes in the run, so most of the buffs can be reapplied here. And I can even technically wait to reapply it after this wave if I want to. Anyway. Might be the only silent protagonist in Tales of, Tales of Game? Uh, I have to think about that. Maybe? I mean, he still talks. It's not very often. I would say he probably is the least amount of dialogue, at least from the ones that I played. You do make decisions with him, but I guess he doesn't have a lot of individual cutscenes. Yeah, I guess that's mostly... Yeah, I guess that's mostly out of cutscenes. Yeah, there, there's some spin-offs that are arguable, but I think that's still true. To be fair, he is like the biggest uh, Mary Sue slash Gary Sue insert of all time. The character is like actually atrocious to sit through. He's like, hey guys, I met all the all the coolest guys from Zillia One, and they all like me. And then I had the I had the bestest power of all time, and everybody had to look up to me. And I was friends with everybody, and I solved everyone's problems. The end. Like this, literally the plot. Just un unironically, that is actually the plot. Get out of here. And now I can rebuff. Baffled to why they would give me a superpower in the best ending, I was not supposed to use it. <laughs> it's like, you dare have fun in Tales of Zillia? Didn't you see the debt train? You didn't pay enough. Milk Truck says, what's your Section ID video coming out? No, it's not coming out for a while. There's so many revisions that maybe need to be done for it. That's gonna take a long time. All this stuff is <laughs> fun detected delete. Yeah, that's Zillia too. Deleting timelines, deleting the fun. Like, oh, you you can have fun, but it costs you a million Mesetta. <laughs> Equivalency. <laughs> Literally pay to advance the plot. <laughs> yeah, for people that have actually not played that game before, it unironically makes you pay to advance the game. You physically cannot leave the chapter until you pay 
the debt collector enough money to go to the next chapter. This is not an exaggeration. It's very literal. It happens. It's terrible. I don't know what they were thinking. Be real with you. I heard a lot of people like the combat, but I just never got to a high enough level where I ever had fun with it. It was pretty much like, use the protagonist and then no one else because nobody will ever touch how broken this character is. And I didn't really like playing the protagonist, so I gave up. Yeah, the, the Section ID video will not be during a major event. And I decided that because there was an event coming up, I didn't want to do it anyway in case they updated stuff, and they did do that. So I was definitely justified in the wait, because I would not want to do like a like eight hour guide and then it's like literally irrelevant within a day. I don't think that made any sense. Or even if I had done it the week before, it would have been irrelevant in a week. Could have been so sad. Goodbye, Epsilon. You need to perish. Alright, so Marco needs to step out for now. Hopefully you get some rest, Marco. Yeah, I might play Zillia 1 on stream. I've been meaning to. We've put it up for a vote a couple times. I think that game is decently fun. I like the combat of graces, but man, the story is, uh... Ooh, that's a tough story to get through. I think chat will have to help me through it by us just riffing on it constantly. Some of, like, the dumbest protagonists of all time. It's, like, astoundingly terrible how dumb they are. If you told me they were they were from Phoenix Wright, I would have believed you. <laughs> like, like, just straight up. I wouldn't even question it. I'd be like, yeah, that checks out. It, it has the same energy of, the killer is a killer? Like, it really does. It really does. What do I have against Grace's story? Um, every interaction. I was going to say, I hope that's sarcasm. I'm going to say every interaction with Richard. Every single one of them. <laughs> Start to finish. What a train wreck. Oh, boy. That game is something else. Exactly, the killer is a killer. So somebody would like to hop in and do some more tower runs. Let's see how we're doing point-wise while we're trashing on tails. Uh, let's move this here so I can actually find it next time. Let's see. Is somebody playing Atrocity? Nope, nobody's playing Atrocity. Nobody's playing Atrocity too, though. It's at 886, which I think is higher. So we've gotten tower to 9771. So we somehow made it go above Atrocity once. We did it. So I'm willing to do a few more runs of this, and then I would at least like to exchange quests. I can't do like a three hour grind of this quest. I could do like another, I don't know, four runs maybe. And after that, it'll be like, how many more points do you want me to add to one of, to one of the tower quests? Oh man. But yeah, it really is that. They're like, wow. The, the guy who just went on a murderous rampage and killed a soldier who's unarmed. Uh, is he a bad guy? <laughs> I'm like, no. <laughs> just like, come on. <laughs> what are you, dumb? Got raid soon, so no can join. Labor Day weekend, so three-day weekend. Nice. <laughs> wow, he's his eyes are glowing red and he's got a demonic aura. I wonder if he's bad. That's he's still one of my favorite tales. Uh, yeah, I still like it a lot. I want to play the remaster when they fully translate uh, 1 and 2. Yeah, by the way, did they ever finish that translation? Hold on. I've been waiting for, like, literally decades for this to be translated properly. Let's see. Tales of Destiny. Let's learn in real time. Did you translate this? Yes, no. They said last time it was in beta. I'm loading it up right now. So back in April 20th, they said it was in beta testing. It's still in beta testing. RIP. They have a version of it translated, but I don't know if I'm going to hop into it. Yep, 
Yeah, Director's Cut is available, but the sequel isn't. So I'm waiting for it. So if people want to continue to do some tower, we're almost done. We'll move on after that. I, I just kind of want to play them back to back to experience the new story as they what it intended, but I want the second game to finish. So maybe next year it'll be ready? Maybe? Question mark. Also, is this like an extended version? When does the song end? It is. It's 22 minutes. Okay. I like the song, but like 12 minutes? I'll be like, okay, next song. Lyrics, no. Funky battle music. Nice, we need a couple of players to join us. Or else Tower with two man, I think will be a little rough. No worries. I think what I could do for Crimson, I'm gonna loan them... What's it called? Uh, Heavenly Resist. Because that should give you effectively... 150... And then 1% 1 of that is 15... So I think you get approximately 180 health. I think you'll live with this instead of Heavenly HP? Because you'll effectively have 80 more health. If I'm mathing correctly, this should make you live through Epsilon, which is a pretty big difference. Yeah, I'm not sure how much I really want to play the spinoffs, because some of the Tales games are kind of whack, I'm not going to lie. I felt like Destiny definitely called to me, and then some of the other ones were like, mmm. <laughs> They're very hit or miss. I felt like most of the East games I liked comparatively. I thought they were mostly hits. Didn't feel that way about Tails on the replays. So I'm like, for every Berseria, there's a Zestaria. What can I say? <laughs> like, I like Destiny, but then Eternia existed. Legendia is so broken for me. Oh, Crimson Tears <laughs> trying to trying to join. No worries, Crimson. I've heard bad things about it. The game will literally not play on the PS3. Oh, I never showed you what happens. Yeah, so it's really glitched on my PS3. Like the facial texture of the character wraps to like random vertices. 1052. I was gonna say, if you want to loan, if you want to loan Heavenly Resist, you should definitely live with Heavenly Resist now. By the way, I can loan it for like three or four runs. Because 1052, I think, is actually not enough, depending on your fire resist. Because if if you have literally that, you you won't live. No, no, no. Like, you put away your Heavenly. You'll you'll put away your Heavenly HP to wear the Heavenly Resist. That's what I'm saying. Because it offers more effective health. Because, because it does more than a thousand damage. Yeah, there you go. You can put a, you, you do whatever you want. Is there anybody else joining, though, before we begin? Yeah, so if you tell me your fire resist, I can tell you exactly how much damage it'll do to you. But that having 12 is actually huge. The 1052 I think is pretty close. You almost would have lived with the L setup. I think you were like 20 HP shy. Long is interesting. From Grand Knight's history. Interesting. Yep, 
Yeah, let's say in theory you have 42%, because you said you were at 30 before. That means it would be 58. So with... Yeah. I think it would do 899 if you have 42 fire resist. I think that's right. But yeah, you'll definitely live with that fire resist. Okay. I don't see anybody else joining, so we'll begin soon. Yeah, you should definitely survive with Heavenly Resist. That that extra 2% on top of that definitely helps a, a bit. Definitely the HP materials. I would say in like 5 levels, you could probably get away with just Heavenly HP. Let's try with the 3, man. And uh, we'll probably move on, as I said before, after a few more of these. But for people holding out for TTF, I feel like you're going to be disappointed. I mostly just want to get the event stuff up. Like, there's there's a small possibility I will do it, but that's not the focus. It is. No worries for Frosty. Um, always says no. Nope. <laughs> I love her Guarda. Like, no. Done. Well, at least I could say that I was doing some honest, serious grinds for Psycho Wand. This is my version of Psycho Wanding. Oops. What I was aiming at there. I'm gonna choose to dodge that. Plus, having a higher fire resist helps a little bit against the giant ball of death. That also, I think, has, does more than a thousand. jumped. I was like, what is happening? Some stun locks. The purple caves? I don't want to go to purple caves. Listen, I did CF1 resets. I, I spent my times in the caves. That, that delivered me nothing fruitful, and I will never do purple caves ever again. That reset is so boring. For those that don't know, you literally kill, what is it, eight lilies in the first room in about 50 seconds. And you do that over and over. No, it's like, I think it's, I think it's 12, I'm sorry, not eight. And then you just reset immediately. <laughs> and it's, it's that over and over and over again. It's so boring. But I was like, oh, at least it's quick. Maybe it won't feel too bad. No, felt terrible. No freeze trap, GG. Rip the party. I'm gonna go back. Yeah, that's the downside. If we don't have a freeze trap on that, it's just kind of over. I'm not so much scared about the Lily on the, the platform, but yeah, the one near me. It's not frozen, GG. At least they died. Yeah, I'll humor purple by doing, like, rescue from Regal. But with how the event is set up, I don't even feel like doing that quest anymore. I used to like that as, like, an alternative to Tyrell's to get high numbers of enemies without resetting as often. Anyway, back we go.
Someone got a PW for Millily. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I don't want to do it. You grind it, Tiggy. <laughs> I don't want to go back to caves. I don't even like doing caves in multiplayer. It sucks. Half of my characters are forces. What am I going to do? I can't even, like, chain lightning them to death. Hard bullied. There we go. Debuff time. There we go. Much better. Technically, I should probably be doing orange ID Gibbles. But I'll, I'll do off chance Del Lily while I'm happening to do V502. One demons is enough to make them just give up because it does enough damage. I always thought that was funny. Definitely gonna heal spam. Nicely done. Destiny 2 Cabal theme. Destiny Ballast Tarek Cobble Fleet Commander is the name of the thing. I never played Destiny, I wasn't gonna make a guess. There we go. I think that's accurate. The Cabal boss, nice. One demons, there we go. Miracle. Your turn is just not a thing that I will that I will grant you. Let's remove their defense real quick. I like it trying really hard to target me. I think somebody in the chat was asking earlier if there's a way to be attacked by the Epsilon without it really doing damage. Depends on how it spins. You see on my screen it just it has no idea what to do. Slow them down a little. There we go. Yeah, this is probably one of the few the few reasons to potentially get heavenly resist. You get slightly more resistant to Ilgil insta kill, and Gaigui slash Epsilon doesn't just blow you out of the water. Invincibility. Hey, thank you, Sato. You remembered me, but I never remember to feed you. Rip Sato. I 
can still knock the Del Lilies pretty easy. Team basically just has free reign on them. Yeah, even though we died earlier, like, honestly, we weren't that much slower with three man, to be honest with you. Like, a minute slower? Minute and a half? So if we don't die, then we don't lose, like, 20 seconds or 30 seconds. It's still pretty close. The fast clear speed. Thank you, Demon Max. Yeah, that's respectable. Yeah, like, I straight up went back. I didn't even take the warp. I didn't realize somebody teleported right away. I was like, oops. I thought we all died, and then... Yeah. Oh, this is Stella Glow. Oh, I should have made a guess. I, that That's the first song so far I felt sort of stumped. This game is, like, very mediocre, but the music in it is actually decent. Oh no, I can't, I can't exit the quest. The moon out of Isor blocks me. It's too powerful for me. All right, there we go. The first song that kind of stumped me, it was that it's a more obscure handheld RPG. You got me. Although this is still not the song I would pick from Stella Glow either, to be honest. Although, I don't know the song names well enough to call them out. Not as well as Etrian. Etrian I could pretty much call out verbatim what songs I would pick. Okay. Mr. Frosty said they join, I'll host the game. I think if one ranger even just goes frozen shooter, I think we're good. We mostly just need to- we just need that one lockdown on Ilgil. Because I can lock down the flower, but I can't lock down the flower in Ilgil. We'll do a couple of these. There we go. We are single-handedly elevating this quest. I didn't see anybody else running it according to the points. But who knows, maybe some people picked it up. Yeah, I think if we have the cast, I think that's good enough for me. And then if we have one person slowing down the other wave, because once I Zalore, I could potentially Razan to stunlock some of them a little bit. But I just specifically need that Ilgil gone. <laughs> like, no doubts that Ilgil needs to go. He otherwise ruins a perfect place. There we go. Bing bong. Nicely done, get some debuffs. Yeah, and then when we're in the ring of ill gills, if somebody's able to hit them with a spread needle paralysis, that might be good too. Wow, a 20 hit item. So disappointing. <laughs> where where is that on my daylight scar? Rip. I don't care about a 30 hit Asuka. Only a needle demon on you. You know what? That's good enough, honestly. Did I seriously just get PD'd from Ilgil? That is so rude. <laughs> Wait a minute. That is so rude. A yeah, demon needle is fine. Then you don't even need to paralyze them because they're dead. That- that's the best form of crowd control. Just in dead in them. Status effect dead. <laughs> Sets combat efficiency to zero. There we go. Goodbye, Gibbles. 
Oh. He'd leave before I could kill. So sad. Okay, debuff time for sure. I was gonna say, Tiki just wants somebody to suffer with him in the caves. Oh, what the heck is this? No lyrics. This is from 7th Tra Dragon? Telenio, like Edna Mode and Incredibles. No cape, no lyrics. No more to hear lyrics? I'm like, nah, I gotta cut you out. I don't care what the lyrics are. Unless they're like unintelligible. That was that was going a little too specific, I think. Well, I mean, you don't want to do you already got the psycho one. That's why you don't want to do caves. It's okay to be honest, Tiki. You got what you came for already, this event. So I'm gonna go for a big debuff, and I should be good. Thank you. Nicely done. Stun the Dillily. Oh no. I'm like, Tiggy, no. Be free, Tiggy. I couldn't tell if that was from the uh, Ilgil. I think it was the Ilgil. I think I got double PD'd from Ilgil. That's kind of rude. And you know what? Even if it was Dolily, that would have been Psycho 1. So I think no matter who it came from there, it was just rude. Plus a lot of PDs Matt's badges alone from running Purple Caves. I mean, apparently I gained over 30 PDs in two sessions. I didn't think I got that many, but my bank doesn't lie. Considering I gave away basically 20 and I went from 48 back up to 75, I think. Kind of silly. Okay, team's doing super well. Good job, team. Murder those flowers. There we go. Nice little cleanup. Oh boy. I am so glad I had invincibility and also glad I reparted. <laughs> Could have been real bad. This one also sounds kind of familiar. What game is this from? If it's a game I played, but maybe a game I saw somebody play. Like the bum bum bum. Reminds me of Fire Emblem. Is it Fire Emblem? It is Fire Emblem. Okay. It's from the DLC, which I don't own. So I'll, I'll give myself partial credit on that one. For uh, Fates specifically. I think that was good enough of a guess, to be honest with you. We're gonna rebuff. To need help again. Nicely done. Oh my gosh, I think I actually killed something with Rivarda there. I think I actually killed Ilgil with Rivarda. That is so shameful for Ilgil. Wait? 
I killed my own Gibbles. I did it. I double demon into the kill. Yeah, there we go. Time save. Oh, come on. What? He was being shot. How did he shoot me? What a cheater. What an absolute fraud. Some shenanigans happened there, I think. This team was definitely hitting him. Its health was going down constantly. Whatever game. Look at it vibrate. Okay, group hug. Group hug. Yeah, there we go. Man, the demons is just, just kinda kinda deleting everything. I'm gonna die again. That's so sad. I was like a second too slow to shoot it. Whatever. Goodbye, Ilgil. And we're on the final wave, so we're doing really good. Up team. I'll try to spam heal. That way team can focus on damage. Oh! Wait, what? Why did that kill me? Maybe my second heal got interrupted. That's the only thing I could think of. Yeah, I think my second heal got interrupted. Nice level up. Perfect level up. Nice. I don't recognize this one at all. RPG random battle? The other one was Paradise Scramble, more specifically. Same. Let's do two more, and then I'm, we're gonna investigate uh, the current bonuses, because I am kind of curious where we are with these. We're 9786 with Tower. I think somebody just started doing Atrocity. Getting towered out, the spawns are blending together. Two more, you're almost through a remote battery, then we'll move on. That way we could say we put in a solid... What would you say, nine clears or so? Nine clears of four and then one clear of three or something like that? That's a lot. Then we'll free remote battery. I want to go long enough that I level. <laughs> After that, who knows? Yeah, I got PD baited sadly too. Man, I can only take so much pain. Hmm. Yeah, speaking of which, what, what is the forecast? Hunters, humans. Interesting. <laughs> there you go. Humar, Humar rise up in the chat. Your time is now. Note, I say Humar, not Humars. Let's be real. <laughs> They're like, mm-mm. Like, I think not. I should really feed my mag. I keep forgetting to do that at the end of the run. I will do- I will try desperately to not forget again. So I can get this thing maxed for later. Is this thing having more uh, ATP actually matters? Oh, team play too far forward. Welcome, Nate. Hope you're doing well.
Yeah, don't worry. It, it'll actually charge all the way down the ramp, so as long as you are, like, parallel with me, if you want to interrupt it with Twin Blaze, that's still fine. Just know it's more forgiving than you think it is. A lot of moons. Do I still have moons left? Up? Six more. Okay, I didn't double use them at least. I'm always worried when I revive one person it uses like two to three. I'm like, I could actually genuinely be out if I was mashing. Here, um... Bronze badge. That's brutal. Nicely done, team. I see Fire Emblem characters, but I don't recognize this team. I wonder if it's more DLC or just further in the game. I did not bother beating Fates. I'm going to be real with you. Although, technically, I don't think I even played Fates. I played Conquest. And I, I did not get very, very far in that game. I think that was the game that made me quit Fire Emblem, officially. I'm like, yeah, I think I'm good. <laughs> it's like, I'm not having fun on this hard mode at all. I don't like the story. I like the combat. Oh well. It is what it is, I suppose. You're dead. Let him down a little bit. demons. Kind of worked. I'm gonna guess by the characters, it's probably Conquest. I don't think it says. Yeah, it doesn't say. Oh, well. Demons was so fast, I think I got one move out before they died. It was actually ridiculous. But Maricus. Oh my gosh, I remember to feed my mag. Did it. Just gotta do it again at the end of the run. <laughs> Rip that power material I, I left behind though. I like that there's so many demons going through, it might actually be more viable for me to just normal attack over demon. <laughs> just because it's likely to only have 50 HP left. Demons is too strong. done. Just gonna go ahead and nope all the flowers. Oh my gosh, I did relevant damage to Gaigui. I almost killed it.
Get out of here, other guy, Gui. I'm gonna bully you with my 140 damage. Welcome home, Murphy. Hope you're doing well. Chat protecting me. Thank you, chat. There we go. We got a, we got a good dynamic going on here. I'm only gonna switch to debuff time here. I almost killed with Razan. That's scary that it was reduced that low. <laughs> it was actually that effective. There we go. My demons work. Nice, I got Mag Invincibility again. Thank you, Mag Invincibility. Oh, I could just spam this. Hell yeah. We're bringing up the tower runs, Murphy. It's going real fast. Oh, group hug. This little group hug. Ooh, dead. Weakest claw, okay. Epsilon stands no chance. The amount of demons on him is like actually insane. And the you cast for the finisher. Like he's, he's not surviving, get out of here. I actually froze the Gibbles, that's embarrassing. I actually just solo killed the Lily. Nice. Oh, ooh, we gonna get, we gonna set a new personal record? Are we gonna clear this sub eight? Looking very likely. There we go. I bullied them with Razond. It did actually work there, sadly. I killed something with Razond, chat. I did it. Ooh, not even eight minutes. Oh my gosh. Woo! Smoked. Ooh, that's a catchy theme. Wait, this is Etrian. I almost got bamboozled. Almost got bamboozled. I'm like, this is Etrian 5, get out of here. <laughs> the final lock-in of the guests. I don't know what battle theme, it's a battle theme though. Like, wait a minute. I felt so bad playing Etrian 5. I kind of broke that game really early, and I just never felt like going back to it, because I kind of felt, I found a way to kind of exploit experience, like, really hard in that game. To the point I trivialized the entire game. Like, I legit leveled so much that I won by just having summons through, like, three quarters of the game. Because I was so high level, the summons were doing level-based damage. And they legit soloed the boss. I didn't, I didn't even need to heal them one time. I was like, wow, this is actually just unfair. They're like, look out! It's a giant demon on the second stratum! But we'll need hunters that- why are you level 60 on the second stratum? I'm like, listen, don't worry about it. It took like four hours, but... I- I cap level already, I'm good. There's honestly not a lot of time when you think about that. Kinda laughing about it. Yeah, they make the mistake of letting you, uh, shiny hunt. And then I can force encounters. So every time you have a shiny, it gives you minimum experience. But minimum experience in the game is really high on shinies, so you just kind of power level. So even though I'm like level 50 on the first stratum, I'm still leveling like every fight. I'm like, wait, that doesn't make any sense. I don't think that should be allowed. So at one point I just had like hawk, wolf, dolls, because it was funny. There you go, Murphy is free from work. So this will be the final one that we run. Let's take a look at the points. So we're sitting at 9786, I'm gonna refresh. We're now it's 9789. So I think some people are running it. Looks like people are running Atrocity 2. So we might do a little bit of Atrocity 2 after this, a teeny, little teeny bit. But we did almost two hours solid of tower grinding, so I'm gonna hear nothing. If we play anything after this, we're like, nah, we did two hours of tower, get out of here. There's room I could join in on this one. 
I think people might be rotating in and out. We'll see. I'm kind of curious if I can find, a, like, a fast way to do Atrocity 2. Because I actually think this quest is pretty easy. Like, you can see, like, when, when the cast knows where to freeze trap, because they just become aware of it after a few runs, like, it just goes so fast. Then they're supported by, like, a bazillion demons. <laughs> they just, like... Like, the combat is just over. Like, actually over. And the tears will sell that afterwards. I'll take back the Heavenly Resist. But hey, I'm glad it actually got legitimate usage. It's very rare you see people use that unit, but we did actually use it correctly. Or August Atrocity 1, yeah. I think that quest just doesn't flow as nicely. There's something about it. I, I feel like I want to spend a time just like analyzing every wave and trying to figure out why specifically I don't like it. As we talked about before, more from like a general game sense, I don't like that it doesn't cater to like a lot of easier enemies or like one particular ID. And some of the hunt some of the spawns are kind of annoying. Heavily resist is definitely anti epsilon. I also like that it also helps with Gaigui and it even helps with dealing with Ilgil. Like this is like one of the few areas, like it actually legit helps you with almost everything. And then even in a weird way on the lower difficulties, when it does elemental damage, it still helps you with the other enemies to some extent. But obviously it's not going to hit the 1550 fire that uh, other things do. I am Setsuna. I don't know if I know what that is. What is that? has like a little gameplay video with it. I really don't recognize it. I'll pick up the skip though. The more free remote battery from the trap that is this area. Then we'll do a brief overview of August Atrocity 2 to see if there's anything we could salvage from it. Well, hopefully we'll find out tonight, but that's also dependent on what other people are running. Since in theory, like, we're really not that far away, and we added, like, almost 60 points to tower so far. Like, we added more than it sometimes gets in an entire day. <laughs> well, actually, that's not fair. They, they, they do average about 100 a day, but, like, the fact that we caught it up in, like, two hours shows that how few people are running it. so sad but yeah power to those people going through the seabed that two-man seabed looked brutal but they they powered through to clear it yeah sadly i haven't seen any interesting drops just aside from rika's claw and oh i guess somebody did get a milk gila or whatever it is There's that level up I was looking for. Yeah. I noticed they weren't quite doing the same boosts in order, so I don't think it'll be the same as the other one. So I, I would guess if it boosts something, it could be giving us that last percentage or badge chance. I forget what the previous cycle was since I don't have it open in front of me. I better back up, it's still beater. I'm gonna respect that, they might still bump me. So yeah, it definitely feels like this quest goes way faster with challenge mode weapons. So... But at the same time, I don't feel like it's undoable. Where like, Seabed without hell feels absolutely miserable. This area without demons is also pretty bad, but I feel like it's easier to get demons than hell. Because you just need a demon weapon versus needing a V502.
Ooh, that sounds familiar too. Catchy. What is this? I'm bobbing my head. Yeah, like it's like the, the requirement of just having like Slicer Fanatic or something is way lower. So I still think Seabed is probably the most annoying one to do still. Well, you know what this is from? This is a uh, Tatsunoko versus Capcom, isn't it? I don't know what stage though. Think you think of the same thing? I'll look in a moment. Look at that epsilon! It was, it was, it was a dive into the music. Get out of here! Vibrating. Right, let's buff the team. Get out of here. I'm gonna look away briefly. Okay, what what is it called? Ultimate All Star Music Orbital Ring System Cargo Bay. Makes sense. Oh, Gibbles is bullying me. Leave me alone. You know, I actually used to play that a bit. I actually like that game. I never got to, like, the true high level of that game, but I was at least doing Baroque combos. Oh, Rip Bunny needs more fire resist. Still spam time. Remember after this, it's a group hug. There we go. Fortunately, I think we only need one more freeze trap. That's going to be on the ill gill double. Anything else I think we're fine with. Like, we don't need a freeze trap these. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, we, we pushed Tower over we, in real time. It was the lowest. We made it higher than August Atrocity 1. That's how sad that is. The, the, the grind was real. For a while, I think we were 20 points above. So I think somebody just started Atrocity in the evening. Because the first couple of runs we did, nobody was leveling it. Meanwhile, oh, what? <laughs> Riffy, let us. What is Forest up to? At the start of the stream, it was 80,077, I think. And I know it's gone up a lot since then. Yeah, see what I mean? Yeah, I'm <laughs> just like... Uh, yeah, that might be a personal record. That was really quick. There we go. 7 minutes, 45 tower. That was really fast. Demon OP. Like, that was actually like a reasonably good pace. But yeah, Mur Murphy's number there tells you all you need to know. Like we're bringing it up literally like four points at a time. Maybe we'll have some stragglers buff it. So we're seeing like seven and eight point jumps. Forest, meanwhile, 400. <laughs> the same two hours. Makes sense. Let's nod our heads there. I'll take the heavenly resist back. I gotta put this away though. Or I guess you could technically wear it for now. If you're sticking around, I guess we'll do Atrocity. Technically, there is uh, stupid Epsilons there. Plugging Forest for Blue Tours, maybe. All right, now I'm curious what the point total's up to. We're at 789 in Tower, but I feel like two hours is enough. We're dealing with, uh, what's it called? Dealing with Tower. Yeah, so Crimson Tears is... Should be able to live. Somebody said they would swap out. I want to make sure I read who it was. Remote says they can tag in if you want. So Murphy, if you wanted to bring in your raw cast or whatever. I forget what ID is slightly in favor of August Atrocity. We keep going back and forth on it. 
Yeah, I'm a little disappointed nobody got a V502. Not not unexpected, because the rare rate is still kind of high, but still disappointed. Another I Am Setsuna song. Um, let's do... Oh, because the thing is, like, there's enough missing enemies in each one that I always have to double check. Got a lot of old Gibbon. So it's actually not bad for White ID. There's only one Ilgil, which is terrible. There's a lot of Buddhas, but nobody really benefits from that other than Blue. Soul Gibbons is also Disco Brain Man. Oh, Crimson is hopping out. Do we have another slot for people that want to hop in? I'm just looking to see if there's anything interesting from this. Only one Ilgil makes it a bit rough on White ID. Hmm, should I actually switch my character? So if I go with this... skip this because there's lyrics. Sorry, Stranger of Sword City. Hmm. Sorry, Chan, I'm just looking real quick to see if there's anything of interest. Ink IT for Prophets of Motav. There you go. You have a gift for me? Oh no. Honestly. I wish Pink ID had slightly better items on these things. I guess in theory I could bring in Pink ID for Excalibur. I thought about White ID, but honestly, there, it's missing the White ID drops that make it interesting. Like, I don't really care about single Ilgil. Uh oh, what's this gift? Oh, PDs are back. That didn't take very long. Anyway, let me know if you need a loner, if you want to get a Demons or something. Alright, what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to... I should probably switch characters. Maybe it's better to run this pink ID? Because then you get to go Brain Man and Excal chances. And like, you're missing like, what, Ilgil? One Ilgil? Like, we're not hunting for one Ilgil V502. That's like, actually bonkers. Uh, let me put this away. Also, this character accrued a ridiculous amount of cash. What the heck? Yeah. Let me let me remake. I'm gonna make it with a uh, pink ID force. I'm thinking that should be a little better. Because that is the highest drop rate. There's 30 chances or so of Excal. It also still gets Disca. Pink ID jungle boxes are usually good. If it's Jungle North, that would be ideal, because I believe that's either Red Barrier or Amplifier or Gafoe. One of those statements is true. I don't remember which is true. But I know Jungle North is on the list. I wrote it for one of the important box drops of Pink ID. So I, I know that is true. <laughs> but I don't remember the box drops offhand. So at least we could kind of sway it in our favor, I guess. I'm hoping it's Jungle North. If it's if it's any of the other jungles, the boxes are kind of eh. I don't think it really matters at that point. If it was mountain, we would have been getting uh, what's it called, Jaya, which would have been funny. I always forget that Jaya exists for fake ID boxes. It's always a fun reminder for people that don't play fake ID. I don't know why they get Jaya. They do though. Just for some reason? Question mark. So, surprisingly, their box drops 
It kind of makes sense why Pink ID has some pretty mediocre runs. Because their box drops are actually good. Let's see. If it's Jungle North, we would get... Jaya and Red Barrier. Nice. There's a 40-hit quest reward. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. So I, if this is Jungle North, we get Red Barrier and a Jaya chance. I'm not going to say no to that. Jaya, Disco, Brayman, lame. So we got one more free slot for people that want to hop in. Have a Slicer or a Fnatic. This should be good enough, I think. This character is wearing Red Ring. She's not messing around, Chad. Serious business. So we'll do a quick point check. So we officially... Grinded that quest up, I think, a little over 80 points. Jack can try to math what we said at the beginning of the stream. I forgot to write it down. If I was planning ahead, I would have written it down. But tower ended at 9795. And the fact that Atrocity won in 786 is pretty good. Welcome, Promethean. We're about to do some Atrocity 2. We're looking for a fourth player. I figure I'd try pink ID. I was trying to figure out what ID would actually get decent drops. So if this takes place in Jungle North, we actually get Jaya and Red Barrier from Box. I think it's actually kind of worth it. Does it say what? Is it just a central control area? But I don't think it is. I thought it was Jungle. Like there, there's a big difference between central control area and Jungle for Box drops. So if it, if it is north, we get Giant Red Barrier. If it's east, we still get Amplifier of Gofoe. If it's mountain, we would gotten Jaya. If it's seaside, it's Amplifier of Rivarda and Blue Barrier, which is okay. I'm hoping it's not actually CCA boxes and it's actually jungle boxes. Because most of them are kind of bonkers. Let's find out, I guess. So I guess maybe maybe that's the secret. Like it took a while, but maybe this is the right idea to play just because it has like, not like a ton of lame. Oh, it is jungle area north. Nice. So this is Jaya and it's red barrier. I'll take that all day. Those are, those are good uh, box drops. 100% chat. That feeling when I go to debuff them and they're already dead. I was going to say, if there were any zoos in this quest, I could have maybe gotten a smart link here. I'm going to learn where this spawn is. Okay, so they're kind of on the side there. But so far, nothing feels like freeze trappy. It's kind of two annoying enemies on either side of the room. Oh, I'm bobbing my head to this one. Well, I guess I can maybe get a heavenly HP in theory. Another Cleo wouldn't be bad. What game is this from? Venicia. I have never heard of it, but I like it. We're gonna get a donut, oh no. It'd be nice if I could say, like, this quest is actually worth doing on Pink. I like the fact that it is box drop synergy, which definitely brings up the value of the hunt for me, big time. Like, 12 chances at Jaya. I'll take those. Put that for the 
team. There we go. I will be the Disca Queen. Nice, got him twice, GG. Oh no. I wanted nothing to do with that. Yeah, we're trying Pinkle at uh, August Atrocity 2. This, this is such a brand new quest that I don't know if a meta has been established for it yet. Like, it literally came out during the event, but I, I think maybe Pink ID is the right one. Right? Like, there's not really... Like, the the two highest enemy counts are very Pink ID focused. It actually benefits from box drops. The enemies that Pink ID doesn't really succeed at... There's only, like, one of fun ofs for the most part, and are mostly irrelevant. Like, we don't have to worry about, quote-unquote, losing value from Ilgil. There's just one in the whole quest. Yeah. Because the thing is, I was wondering if, like, Jaya would beat it out, because there's a lot of things where, like, the common enemies potentially could be good. But there's, like, not enough Astarks to really justify it, and I don't feel like there's good enough other drops. Originally, I was thinking if it was supposed to be, like, White ID, Blue ID, but maybe I'm thinking it's Pink ID. Even though uh, some of the Pink ID drops are a little suspect. Me alone, Babuda. Welcome, Hulkly. Um, get a handgun mill drop for somebody. I think it dropped with 20 hit, or that might have been the Rika's call. The other way, handgun mill did drop. We're bringing up the tower, Hulkly. You'd be proud. <laughs> We made it very briefly go above August Atrocity 1 by, like, 40 points. The spam was real. I was the Rikas, damn. Unfortunate. Still, nice that we got that out of the way. Yeah, we saw the power of Demon Mech Guns, Hell Cleave. You would have been proud. We had a 7 minute 45 tower was the new record for on stream. That was, that was really fast. Yeah, this dwarf, on, this dwarf on is so annoying. I wish they didn't put that dwarf on there. It's hard to bait it out because it, it literally reaches the door. Kinda sucks. Yeah, like there's an okay number of Astarks here. That's why I was thinking like blue almost would have been worth it for limiter. I think Liam to Argent, Disco, Brave Man, Off Chance, Jaya, Red Barrier. Not bad. Hill Lily? I mean. I do like. I, could, I would like another Rambling May with hit. Oh, uh, no hit. One day, chat. If there were regular Rappies here, I would have been so happy. In fact, I didn't even look to see what the Rappy count was for this quest. The Rappy count is actually high, but I would really like the big ID. I would like to say that I've now received, a th I think, about six Rambling Mays before I've seen a single Vivian. It's actually the saddest thing ever. <laughs> Just like, one day chat. One day I'll get what we're looking for. I guess the Gritabulu at the end, we still get a limiter chance. 
Yeah, we, we still get some weird one of fun ofs, I guess. Hmm. Go pick up the Rambling May, I guess. So far I haven't found like a good way to deal with the charging dwarf on in this room. I feel like it's just on you so quickly that if your team is even slightly separated, there's like very little you could do. Not a good feeling for the quest. 13 Raffians, that's actually a decent amount. Um, debuff time. Because I, I think the Zol Gibbon count and the other Gibbons, they're like, one of them is 30 for the lame to Arjun, the other is like 13 or so. Having a uh, 13 Lily, or Raffis on top of that is actually kind of solid. I would like to eventually get a Vivian that's better than 25 Dark. One day, chat. That, that's my dream. <laughs> one day it won't be utter, utter crap. <laughs> Good, you let me down. Disappointed in you, be good. Hmm. I have noticed the sorcerer kind of do some funny things. I'm glad you brought that up. I was wondering if I was like misremembering. Thank you for clarifying. Hello, Gibbles. I would like you to chill out. Thank you, Parameter, for getting the counts open. Yeah, I was trying to do, like, a quick eyeball of, like, what I thought might be good for this quest, and maybe it's actually Pink ID. Because as I said before, I think a lot of people just don't look up or just don't know the box drops. But because I was working on the Section ID document, I knew Jungle North was actually good. That's why I was hoping it was Jungle North. But potentially getting a Jaya and Red Barrier at the end of the quest, kind of kind of sick. Sorcerer is so done. <laughs> like, listen. Ooh. Okay. This, okay. This is the wave we'd probably have to freeze trap in the future. That wave looks really annoying. Also, I'm not gonna lie. If we get Dorf on a Claire here before we get it in Episode Four, I'm gonna be so salty and sad. Where's our Cannon Rouge Dorf on? There's the Epsilon. I could probably draw its attention for the team. The team could deal with everything else. I like the song. I don't know what it's from. Survey says, it is Shante. I not played that, but that's a platformer. That's a shame. Gibbles. I'll take that damage for the team. I like that I can actually just bully it with ATP as the force. What a relieving feeling. Alright, that's definitely a way we also have to remember. So I'm slowly starting to piece together some places we need to worry about it. Oh, these last couple, couple of waves kind of suck. I kind of wish there were more Greta Mulu. Like if this quest had like four or five, instead of just like one, it would have been so sick. So 
12 minutes. Box spray. Yeah, I don't feel like there's really a spot in this room so far where I felt like I could have maybe controlled the wave. There's a lot of mixed enemies that I don't really have the ability to stun lock. Bit of a shame. You know what? Sure, I'm gonna feed it star atomizers. Yeah, that last wave is. Hmm. Offense of Motav from Darkfinger? That's, uh. the hunt. Yeah, maybe this is the right call quest wise. Yeah, like, there's just enough in there where I don't feel like... Where, like, the tower quest, I can stun lock, you know, the giant murder flowers, or I can technically, to some extent, stun the Ilgil. Needing to deal with, like, chargers and sorcerers is kind of annoying. So it definitely feels like there needs, there just needs to be more per wave. So maybe that's why I'm, like, not the biggest fan of them, because I wish there was more, like, a delineation, like, one wave is paralysis, one wave is freeze, but a lot of these are like, no, you really need both, which is not a good feeling. But so far, that, that was my feedback upon playing it another time. Like, hmm... I'll hold on to this in case somebody needs it. Like, I actually don't mind the waves when it's, like, the Buddhas and whatever, or the Gibbons. Or, like, the mix of the Gibbles and Hildelts. I don't really have any problems with those waves. <laughs> Somebody actually running all Atrocity 1 again? Last time, I think it looked like two or three people were doing it. Is sitting at 9800, so it's just barely below tower where we left it. Alright, so the first wave is just kind of do you have Hell Needle? This first couple of waves just feels like Hell Needle. Like, if you don't have Hell Needle, you just don't have what you need to do it because you kill these, right? And then it goes into the, the little mini flowers, which are perfect for Hell Needle or like Hell Shot. And after this, is a, there's a thing in front of us, but it doesn't really matter. We don't really need traps for that. It's when they split. Is it one wave or two waves after this that they split? It might be after this one. The one where it's a murder flower on the right and a gibbles on the left. That one's kind of rude. Just speaking of which, hello. But this enemy can be kind of rude if you're not expecting it. There you go, block this, Gibbles. That was such fast damage from the chat. The Sorcerer from behind is a little rude, but nothing trap-worthy so far. Okay, so we're gonna have to remember, okay, so in the first room after Sorcerer, it's a Dorfon, so we need to learn to lock that down. I'm actually gonna write that down. Let me see, so it'll be... First room, after Sorcerer, Dorfon. Because I want to learn if there's a way to do it more efficiently, right? Like, cause that's the point of running it. I mean, we, we I casually play through things, but I also kind of want to teach people to at least how to recognize some waves. The hill delts are kind of the big issue. Kind of cut off stragglers in the back. Otherwise, it's just hell o'clock. Which one I should be able to pump so much ATP that I can actually genuinely get a kill? Once you stop teleporting, you're dead. You teleporting scum. Yeah, Gaigui's nothing to really think right home about here. 
Oh, you know what I'm missing? I need to Glide Divine on this character. My bad, chat. can definitely get the debuff if I do that. This room's a little awkward. The Darkbringer in the middle is kind of a problem. Good freeze trap there. Mm. I think we all can basically just pair up against one thing and we're fine. Most of the threats seem to be in the middle of the room here, so I don't think there's like too much of a rocket science to this. Just kind of put your back to the middle. If something bad spawns, you freeze trap it. Otherwise, you just keep murdering to the sides. But I think if we're mostly centered, we shouldn't really be caught off guard. Yeah, like, we're in a good position here to deal with the brands. There we go, I killed the brands. listening to this. I don't think I've played this game, but I think I know what game it is. I think this is Grand Blue Fantasy. Survey says Grand Blue Fantasy 6 versus Colossus Magna. Yep. Makes sense. I love that I can combo kill with this character. Like when they're frozen, like I just straight up kill them with the double hits there. It's kind of nice. That was such fast damage. I blinked and they exploded. On Rappies, give me a Vivian. One day, chat. I will receive said Vivian. Like, I even like the healing circle here. Yeah, like, I think originally they, I think they stated they didn't have that healing circle here, which was kind of brutal. Yeah, at least this Dorfon is easy to remember. But again, like, if you don't have paralysis, I don't know what you do. It feels like this quest just requires a lot more than what we needed with Tower. Where we need strong paralysis and demons and decent traps. It's kind of rough. Okay, I can stunlock these lilies by a million time for us. There we go. I actually killed with Rubarda. I was gonna say, I was actually just legit gonna beat them down. I didn't feel like waiting. Really good craft control from the team. Goodbye, Lily. Wow, Chad exploded that enemy.
come on, Excalibur for the team, or a really good Disco Braid Man. Old badge. I'll take that. Plus silvers I need to convert. And or another virus armor I might be able to make. We'll see. Oh, I meant to say, chat. I switched to uh, what rambling may I'm using. I don't think that was on stream. I was playing with Chris off stream, and I got a 15 hit rambling may with 50 dark. And I'm like, I kind of like how much damage that is, honestly, in Temple. It also means I kind of dunk on sorcerers pretty quickly. For the most part, I'm able to land my normal heavy heavy. Because I'm not looking to ever land special with this character. So it's like just enough. And then the things I can't quite hit with it, chat usually just hells. But everything else, like all the annoying enemies, having like an equivalency of like, what is it, about 175? I think the weapon adds 350 or something by itself. Yeah, but so with shifted, it adds almost uh, 499. Oh no, rip rap base. At least they can still drop their rare. Just no badges. So I kind of like it for brute force bullying, uh, temple. Since almost everything there is, uh, a beast or dark. No worries. And now I might finally be able to fulfill my dream of seeing a Vivian. I think I've done about 15 temple runs, by the way. I don't remember how many were on stream. I feel like 6 or 7 were. But I, I was grinding that out with uh, Chris on stream. It was hilarious because we like legit got, um, I think, 4 mil lilies in 4 quests. And I'm like, why? <laughs> and we also got Love Raffi. So I got another Hearts of Egg Blaster or whatever on Pink ID. So if somebody really wants those, oh, that wave is evil. That dwarf on spawn is evil. Hate that. Cause you can't even, oh man, you have to be so preemptive with the fireball there. Hmm. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I have a glide divine to help when I'm in this phase of things. I'm gonna lure the Epsilon away from the group. They have more ability to run. There's Promethean. <laughs> okay, we know the Morphos is gonna be the, the lead into the bullshit. <laughs> like, with the, the nonsense is gonna happen after this Morphos dies, just be warned. Get, get your traps ready. I'll put a little happy Gifoe out and see what happens. I got charged by Ilgil, so sad. Killed you. Wait, I could combo kill Sorcerer now? Oh, man. Oh, I'm getting spoiled with this gun chat. Omaral actually combo killing? Take a photo chat. You never see that happen. Just straight up went, eh, delete. Oh, 
Oh, no box rares. One day. So yeah, we'll do at least two or three more runs of this. That way we could say we really, really, really tried to put this to 10,000. So it's at 9,902 points at the moment. Tower is still like 200 behind. I don't think we'll get the thing tonight. We put in at least 40 points. We should get two silvers for AAs. But we do. I'm confused. I'm like, wait, no, we actually do. I'm the star man. Welcome back, Nate. So, yeah. The silver badge wise is not bad. So, we could probably get the atrocity up there because every single run of ours is eight points. So, in theory, in 10 runs, we could cap it. I prefer not to do 10 runs, though. Let's, let's do a more realistic three more. That way we'd say we put at least an hour into the atrocities. I think is more than fair. Then we'll probably move on to personal runs. Because we tried very, very hard. But at some point we need a break. There we go. Still can't believe Murphy's character right now. Look at his HP. It's climbing up. Can already pretty much carry uh, most areas. On the raw cast shoulders. He almost has more HP than me. He's catching up. He's almost as tough as a foam arrow. I hate that initial part where you just can't hit them right away. It's so sad. Yeah, this room is definitely hellable. So we're mostly facing the right way versus the miracle. And we get the split attention after this next spawn. Like, I'm learning the beginning room really well. The other rooms I'm not feeling yet. Right, so my back is to this thing. And I can actually use this to also target the Gibbles. Kind of like... That's like my little adaptation there. And then I know when the Sorcerer appears, I will probably go Bowie afterwards. I'm gonna look to see when they get really low. that door fun to get out of my face there we go I remembered something about this room progress yeah I think if I were to like grind it out a lot I could see like little bits and pieces but I'm noticing a lot of these rooms just have a really annoying door font spawn immediately I don't know Usually, I think of Del Beaters as the more annoying of the two, but the way they're used in this quest, I'm not happy to see them most of the time. Is this like usually when you're right and like just entering a room? It's not like you're like mid run, except for the first room. These guys are so hosed. Also, I forgot a Glide Divine rib. That damage is so good. Here, you look at the team. We'll spam on the team. There we go. I say shield this. Yeah, this this wave's also kind of brutal for single player. I don't know where I would stand to deal with this. Just a lot of annoying gibbles and also murder lilies. Hmm.
There we go. Oh, I hit the murder flower, but it was just slightly too slow. That was my fault. I tunnel visioned. Promethean to have health and a buff. So I'm happy. At least I can say today I went for the Vivian that I'm looking for and Rambling May. But at the same time, I can say we also did Excalibur, V502, Psycho Wand. We did some pretty good overall hunts. I don't know if there's like a generic quest other than TTF chat would like to do in two runs from now. But I would be open to it. I do think things like the desert and the crater quests are pretty good. I don't even mind just running those, to be honest. Though neither of them, I think, need assistance anymore. People have been grinding them out. The fact that desert got up to 30k is kind of crazy. Try miracles. A Razan cares not for your body blockers. Put a happy little fireball down for them. Come on, Vivian, Vivian, Vivian. Purple paw. Uh, yeah, we could do that if you want later. I don't think we've done a lot of purple pod at all. The event started. In fact, I barely even did pod at all. I think that's fair enough. We haven't done a quest that is Promethean oriented. Another Grand Blue song. Hell already. moment where I refoe, but they're untargetable. Ah, oh, that Lily tries to melee me. What a fool. Your rage for the raid uh, for the raid. Hopefully you're doing well. I think I'll probably end up putting Lunar Silver Star Story at some point on the list of games to play. We've been playing a lot of PS1 games, so it makes sense to go back to that one. I saw you playing it the other day. Right now we're just doing some PSO. Hopefully everybody's doing well. I don't know if my mods are here, but if one's here, they could probably shout you out. There we go, some pretty damn man. Oh, he's out of my range to support. I was wondering why he was taking forever to die. Like, wait a minute. That was just silly. I still can't believe I can combo kill in single player. The uh, versus sorcerer. Finally, the character that can bully them. Normally, when I do that as a force, it feels terrible. I finally have enough accuracy and damage. Although Excal on them is pretty good still. Just distance is usually an issue. Oof, I got bad. 
damage from the given. Kind of brutal. I die fluid into a tri fluid. I don't think that was intentional. Alright, so if I run path the moth fist, is there something I can do in this room that would make me more useful as a force? Like, could I put it like a lingering gafo? Oh no, rappies. I'm gonna do that. Rappies. I was like, I I technically could gafoe stack if I'm near them. But I could speed the run up a little bit in theory. At least we could say for like potentially a four, four and a half hour stream, we got at least three hours of points in. So it's good to say that, you know, we, we participated in the event. Like doing a mix of greedy runs and uh, other runs. We're still getting value out of the anniversary quest, just sometimes kind of stale running the events. Gotta go back to the old classics every now and then. Wow, I just straight up combo killed Sorcerer again, get wrecked. Joke's on you, Sorcerer. Joke's on me. <laughs> Murder, Flower. Murder Flower had the Sorcerers back there. That's probably a wave I would need to remember a little better. Needing it to double dwarf on. Remember it was Sorcerer into double dwarf on, but I didn't remember what led into the Sorcerer Miracle wave. We're gonna work our way forward slightly. So if I had Glide Divine, I could debuff them for the team easier. But then again, they are waiting forever for Epsilon, so it might not really matter. The moment this lore actually landed, it was over. Okay, we're gonna hunt down Promethean. There we go. We will be buffed. We know after Morphos is BS. So at least if we can identify what the problem waves are in this room. So we know Morphos leads the BS. We know after we deal with the double uh, sorcerer into everything else, you get more BS. We do that to hopefully dissuade a dash from the ill guild. I did not dissuade him. I'm putting out a Gafoe. Get out of here, Dorfon. I don't want to see you. <laughs> the, mach the machine enemy teleporting to let his sorcerer friend get shot is never not funny. He's like, he gets twice. I'm like, I'm out of here. Then the sorcerer just takes it in the face. Okay. That, that was faster. Oh, ill. I just oh, I remember what game this is from. Ill. Boo. Final Fantasy 12. Ill. Took me a moment, then I'm like, wait a minute. Getting bamboozled again. Also, I've picked up a disgusting amount of badges. Put them away at some point. That game was like borderline unplayable on initial release, true story. I know the Zodiac Age fixed a lot, but holy, that is not the version I played, unfortunately. And we actually hit the end of the list. Apparently the all the other songs are copyrighted. 
what should we listen to for music? What would be a good game series you want to listen to as we kill things? Actually, I got one just for Promethean. This is for Promethean. Thank you, Promethean. I almost forgot. I was looking at the anniversary stuff. It is indeed Batman. I was gonna say, she better have a Glide Divine. I'm like, get out of here. <laughs> Batman. Okay. We'll do one more after this. And I can say we, we did our dues. We did almost three and a half hours solid of raising the points. Batman equals drops, yeah. Learning is very slowly occurring. I feel a little tired, so learning's a little slower at the moment, but, you know, if I identify at least one more wave every time I play, I think that's progress. Especially with the quest that is, like, literally did not exist prior, prior to this month. We're doing okay. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of placement that, you know, gotta think about a little more. Damn, that damage is real. Like, we know if I put my back to this enemy, I could, in theory, like, as a cast, freeze trap the miracle while shooting the gibbles. Like, I think that would be the ideal thing, because that way you just you shut down the problem and you deal with the other problem. And we know after this is going to be sort of fun time. Or Dorfon, I mean. Get out of here, Dorfon. So at least this room, I feel like I did mostly correct. And there's gonna be another annoying Dorfon, because of course. I guess this one at least has the courtesy to stop a little shy of the doorway. The other one definitely just gets way too close to the doorway. But maybe it's just that one room, I just don't like it the most. the whole room. There we go. The team's able to do things again. Oh, I'm so dead. You know what? I somehow didn't get hit there. We'll take it. All miracles.
Let's unlock the brand. Slow everything else down. That kind of works. Oh, I heard a rare drop. I got excited. Excitement and hopes and dreams dashed. Gonna say, it has to be in here somewhere. Silly. Wait, Del Saber can't even hurt me? Oh, when I gel in him, he doesn't do enough damage. Oh, that's so sad. And it has one purpose, and I'm just like, no. You can't even kill Fomoral. He's actually unkillable. Poor Del Saber. He really tried. Well, that's brutal getting Photon dropped again. Game. Give me an actual rare. I know they exist. We got one. We got a ramble. Of all the quests, we got Rambling May on this one for some reason. I do kind of miss having a rare enemy potentially on uh, for Vivian. I wish that still existed, like if it was on Hilda Tour or something. That way you could still farm it during events. I don't miss it being on Raffi, though. Goodbye, enemies. So sad. Why are they both blocking me? Game, please. I'm being trolled. Yeah, without confuse, they just kind of face me and they just kept blocking for each other, through each other. Kind of obnoxious. I like that, like, Rambling Maze drop chance is actually not that bad. It's 1 in 500 and then half again, but, like, it's rare up and rare up at the moment. Like, actually a reasonable drop. I still can't get over the fact that I could combo kill those if I normal heavy heavy. And that 50% dark actually made a huge difference for her. Oh hey, Slicer Fanatic. That's nice. That That's a good random value drop. Hmm. Aw, oh, zero hit. I mean, at least for Rangers it doesn't matter. Like, if you're playing Ramar Ramarl, you're like, that's all I need. You're like, it's all zeroed, and I'm like, no, you don't understand. It's all you need. <laughs> Just, you accuracy, accuracy glitch, and it's all good. Let your 240 ATA do the talking. Uh, 
Uh, so we know after this, in theory, I could Gafoey stack, but most of these rooms are just not really Gafoeyable. Makes me a bit sad. I'm gonna try to rebuff the team, get a heal going, get a Foey going. second there is not too bad. I did get a lot of hits. I know the BS is about to happen because we're fighting a sorcerer. So I might as well just keep spamming, right? Like, what's the downside, right? I stun the, the good flower. And then the Dwarfon comes in and I go no. Yeah, no. I guess that's like the most Gafoeable wave. Obviously, like, I'd prefer not to do a full level versus them, but like, if it happens, not. Uh, it's better than not doing it. There we go. I did my war. And I healed the group. I like, like the forces, unironically, the ATP killer. I just believe in the Ranger's Demon. Oh wait, listen. I can hit it sometimes if I really need to. After Morphos is some BS, and they're gonna be near them. So I'm like, okay, well, I feel like I'm learning a little bit. A little bit about the BS. I can slow them down a little bit here. Or he'll just go through my Grafoe, cool. It's fine. I'm gonna hit freeze on them a couple times. Out of here, he'll go. Happy Fireball. Say no to Dwarfon. Reach about a Sorcerer. That kind of worked. I don't know if Barrels really want to make sure I don't assist in this room, apparently. After this event, I think we've helped the group get like six or so. The market flood is real. Okay, one last one and then we'll take a look at the points. I'm sitting on 15 silvers, so that's pretty good. Hand it in, then I'll look at the points. Yeah, this quest isn't too bad, but it, it does have a higher requirement than I think Tower does. The Tower is saying at 9818. Atrocity 1 is 830. We have Atrocity 2 at 9920. So we're gonna we're gonna leave it tantalizingly close for other players. So within a hundred. So we could say we could put it within less than nine runs. <laughs> Or at least less than 10, I guess, depending on how we leave it. And then we'll do some greedy runs.
Then it might be pot o'clock. Who knows, I might end up with another V801 or something dumb doing purple. I mean, that's kind of what we did with Tower, honestly. We put it within 200. Like, we, we, we legit added like one sixth of what it needed. Oh, wait. Excal. Oh. Stop blazing about in the forest and go fishing. Yeah, how many how many forest runs are there, by the way? Can we can we have the public call out for the Affinity server? 804. <laughs> so there's 720 points towards it. So yeah, in in those 700 points, uh, we would have had it by now. By the way, so we only need like 500 collectively between the remaining. And then remember, atrocity counts as double. So we needed even less. We, we put it within attainable means. Yeah, it's, it's constantly going up. It's 20k of runs of forest, pretty much. Like, actually insane. Oops, I almost did tower. That would have been a big mistake. I'm gonna say the biggest frown. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I think maybe pink ID is the right call here. I was, like, going back and forth on the IDs, but I think I'm willing to settle in. I still have to think about Atrocity 1, because it has 7 ill gills, but it doesn't have a lot else. Yeah, I mean, people are willing to grind, like, the craziest things. I don't know what to tell you. They don't care about the odds. They're like, oh, is it literally 200 times harder to get a blue Heaven Punisher on Hildetor compared to everything else? Grind it anyway. Oh no, you did Penumbral Surge 6. We hate that quest, Promethea. We hate that one. The whole series is good and that one ruins it. <laughs> this deep end one is horrible. Hate that quest. Every hallway is like some stupid ass Del Beater hits you. It's like, oh, Teehee, did you go more than one hallway? Del Beater. Did you go down this hallway? Del Beater. Did you dare ordain to go into a room without go help Del Beater? Just get Del Beater. I kind of like the last room a little bit, where you like open the boxes over time. I thought that was neat, but man, the rest of that quest was booty. Gotta get, I gotta give the hard truth on that one. That that ruined the series for me to some extent. The rest of the series is really good though. I highly recommend. Demon to have a tail sale. I think I own them all. I don't think there's one I'm missing. Yeah, Penumbral Surge 6 is like actual shenanigans. <laughs> it's like, like, that, like, it was getting to the point where even in just one run, we were memeing on it. Yeah, I own a rise. I said, I, I'm pretty sure I own all the tails. Yeah. I don't think there's one that I'm missing. I even have Symphonia, unfortunately. At least I think I have Symphonia. I mean, I have Symphonia in different versions if I really need to play it. Though need is a very strong word. Some debuffs going. Yeah, I love how Berseria still sells for like $40 for no reason. They're like, oh, it's a sale for six bucks. And I'm like, it should only be worth six at this point. It's a good game, but like, come on. It's not like 40 bucks good at this point. one I would like not to have bought. Oh, you mean Symphonia? That game was crazy overrated. Holy. Combat was terrible. I thought I was out too, and then I realized Prometheum is green, not yellow. Like, whoops. I went to the wrong indicator. Yeah, 
Yeah, that game was very disappointing. Never have I ever rooted for the, vic the, the villain in that game. I was like, please. I was like, please. I beg of you. I think the only real memorable scene for me was the hot, old coffee cup thing. I thought that was like the one time I liked a cutscene in that game. Everything else was just, ugh. Like the fact that they made it a whole plot point that she's klutzy. I'm like, man, I hate this. I hate this so much. <laughs> I don't like these tropes at all. Please don't be in the future games. I beg of thee. You did eight playthroughs to 100%? Why? I mean, when I played, achievements weren't really a thing. It was on the GameCube. I just know that when I tried getting the early titles, I got robbed, and I will always be salty that I got a 111-hit combo on the first boss in the game, and it was like, have a 20-hit combo title. I'm like, no, you don't understand. I already did 100 hits. robbed. Oh, full friendship every character? Yeah, I don't think so. They shall go one thing. <laughs> like, no thanks. Yeah, it just, like, even when I played it, it had, it felt very stiff and very slow. And like they they definitely have sped up the combat significantly. I mean, just look at the pacing of something like uh, Graces compared to that game. How much faster Graces is? I got lost because I forgot to do something, but I don't remember what I didn't do. Like I visited all the temples, but I might not have triggered all of the uh, cutscenes. So I was like, I have no idea. I'm not going back and revisiting these elemental temples. Elemental temples are on my list of top 10 things I don't want to do in video games. It's it's somewhere comfortably below puzzles, but not that far from it. I'm like, listen. I don't want to go to the elemental temples. Make me go somewhere else in an RPG, please. Yeah, I had to do something where I was trying to plant a seed, but I was missing the seed, but I thought I visited all the temples. I'm like, I don't know where this is. I'm not moving forward. I was definitely on disc two of that game. So it's not like I stopped very early on or anything. I had, uh, what's her name? Priscilla and then Regal. I amused myself briefly with his combos. I had fun canceling his combos. I did not have fun with any other character in that game. It felt just way too stiff. You enjoyed the spin-off more? Oh man, that is a that is a real hot take. I think that's one of the most despised Tales games. Tell me more, Calvisha. That here, Marissa's. Perfect mayhem. Oh, thank you, Krista Grimm. Hope you're doing well. We're just doing some PSO. Doing the last version of this quest. I will say though, the XP is actually pretty good. Well, thank you for resubscribing. Like getting almost 333 experience a second is actually kind of good. I guess that's how I can view atrocity. Like if you're not max level, it's actually not bad for leveling. Right? Like, 300 XP and a double XP thing means that you're getting at least 150 XP a second, which is pretty good. It's definitely above average. I wouldn't call it, like, above a TTF, but, like, different. Not saying the game was good, just saying I enjoyed it. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, I would agree. For episode 2, it's pretty high. 
I mean, like, what is it really just competing with RT and the, and maybe really fast CC runs? We're getting like 240 XP a second on tower. Just pretty high. Normally tower is not what I think for XP. We had we had a really good team. With the du double mech gun, demon mech guns is insane. Just everything dies. Oh, I meant to say Calvisham. Hopefully you enjoy uh, Visions. The mana. I don't think I'll get it. If it's on my wish list, I'm gonna remove it. To be honest with you. That was before I played Trials, and I was like, mmm. It's- it was okay. I'm not gonna say, like, I dislike Trials. Maybe just, like, the SNES version. I think if I had to play Trials without flipping out of bounds, I probably would have liked it a lot less. I I eventually had fun with just abusing myself flipping out of bounds. That brought me great amusement. I don't think the gameplay did. Oh, I'm, oh I should have died there. Silly me. Another Gafoe. Nice try, Dorfons. Yeah, I'm not in a rush to play like any of these games new. I mean, just look at like East. Like, how many months of patches did they have? Like, a year- like, literally a year and a half's worth of patches? I don't mean extra content either, just like straight up like, oh, we have terrible performance, let's update it. So yeah, I'm hoping it'll be kind of like... If they step up the combat a bit, it'll be kind of like when they were experimenting with Senkoku Basara between 2 and 3. But they realize, you know, the combat is very basic, but we're like, oh, why don't we try, you know, emphasizing some air combat, something like that. Uh, I had enough. I whipped out the demons. <laughs> I was like, listen. Oh, rip. Went to go buff and then dead again. There we go. Yeah, like, the closest I had to the game becoming, like, mechanically interesting was doing the, uh, cinematic swaps, where I start doing a super, but I tag out really quick if another character does it. But, like, the game doesn't intend for you to do that, I think is part of the problem. Where it, it, it is very punishing if you miss it, which didn't feel good. Where, like, compare that to, like, a Psycho Kupasara, where it wants you to do it. And, like, sure, you can frame perfect it, and that's fine if you can. Uh, I, I would have loved to have seen it lean more into that. Like, not necessarily build around the damage that you could do with it, but at least be like, okay, players want to do that, there's no problem with it. Because if you're not going to make it multiplayer, you might as well make it a fun tag game, right? Combat is a lot faster. That's good. It felt... I'm not gonna say super slow, but it definitely felt very, very average. Especially as somebody that used to play a lot of fighting games, I'm just kind of like, need more. <laughs> faster. Or give me intricate cancels, like dash cancels, or like jump cancels. Airy cancels. Oh, we actually hit the end of the soundtrack. I guess that's appropriate. We finished the run. Music over. So I guess I'll bring in... Oh, hey. Why, Divine? Nice. I guess I'll bring in... a purple force? So that's good. They definitely needed to speed it up a bit. Hmm. 
Hmm. What soundtrack to put on next, chat? We finished Batman. Okay, that time the game just stole my mouse. Oh, yeah, Murphy's gonna set out for one run. That's fun. Game auto selected dumpling. I didn't. I can promise you, I did not select dumpling. She's fun, but we're not doing crater. Hmm. Music to play. Uh, oh, I know. Here we go. I'm gonna put on double adip so I don't burn out a TP. I do. Th Is this my favorite PS2 game? I'm thinking about it. I really like Kessen 2, but I think I've technically played this game more. I'm at 89 photon drops. Jeez, chat. I didn't even put all my drops away. Ridiculous. I think this is the only time I've actually played on, like, a super high difficulty. I tried playing Nightmare Mode on this game, or whatever it's called. It might be called Heaven Mode or something. I got as far as Ohatsu, and then she just bodied me. I, I did not understand what it wanted me to do to survive Ohatsu. She guard broke every attack. I was like, oh, I think my run is over, GG. And I do think for the most part, this was probably the most played co-op game on the PS2. The secret co-op game that you have to insert a code into to play. Yeah, who is stepping? So Murphy, Murphy's taking a break. Who, who would like to fill in a slot for some pod? No worries, Sir Frosty. Although if you're in a guild that doesn't have access to it, we'll find out very quickly. Oh, it's pretty easy. For the most part, you don't even have to worry about the boss. As long as somebody has a cannon rouge or there's a force, we'll clear it pretty quick. But for those that don't know what game this is, highly recommend you try out Onimusha Dawn of Dreams. What a game. Just got done with one of the worst pot I've ever run. Oh, come on, Tiggy. Well, we, we could turn that frown upside down. Yeah, I think when we streamed this game, I did the no upgrade challenge, and I legit beat this game without ever upgrading weapon or armor. <laughs> I'm like, I, I just, I took the base weapon increase, so it didn't take like 20 years, but yeah, we never upgraded the whole game. Take that, Red Souls, it didn't need you. It was kind of funny watching the final boss do, like, nine-tenths of my health on a single swing. Like, what a stark difference if you actually bother upgrading. I'd probably switch to... Like, if we merge here.
I do miss this game series. I think this combat was like, for a while, this was like untoppable combat for me. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. I won I played this game for the combat and the soundtrack. I still think the combat is one of the top 10 games I've ever played. The only thing I've seen con get seen kind of get like along the same lines or at least close to it has been Sengoku Basara. And even then, it's not Sengoku Basara 3, it's Sengoku Basara 4 Utage. Or no, Samurage. Or 3 Utage. Honestly, both of them are pretty close. But I think from the standpoint of being able to do like all sorts of different cancels and stuff like that, I like how different the characters felt. You know, I think that's my major complaint with like a Dynasty Warriors or Samurai Warriors. Oh, Tiggy's here. And why I can't really go back to those games. Just because the characters were very samey. So if you play one, you played like 80% of the cast. Yeah, like the closest I think I enjoyed the this Dynasty Warriors kind of setup was Orochi Warriors 3. And I felt like it was just kind of copying stuff that had been done. That had been done uh, in Psycho Kopasara already, but better. Like, they started introducing the tag system, they did like the tag supers. I'm like, oh, Sankoku's had that for like four years, I think. So just, you're just catching up. I guess better late than never. Oops, I missed some buffs. I guess I probably should have taken a Rufoe merge, actually. Whatever. Give buffs, but I gave them. I tried. I might need to have a uh, Breaker of Chow for more range. I very rarely use that item, but I'll do it in a quest like this where everybody's running. Be kind of annoying buffing people here. Do a few pods and then we might end with TTF. I don't want to go super late night tonight. I had a lot to do after work today, so I feel very drained. Oh yeah, that reminds me, Calvation. Hopefully you've been enjoying Sankoku or not Sankoku. Hope you've been enjoying Shadow Hearts too. I think I think might actually be my favorite RPG for PS2. But you have to like Wacky. That's definitely a hard prerequisite to enjoying that game. So I'll go this way. steps dodging hits oh that felt so good damn chow what was that like five melee hits baited from the enemy they couldn't hit me micro steps matter chat just remember <laughs> that half step i took dodged so many strikes back to back while still doing damage god like charge into this there we go yeah, Tiggy and I killed, cleared at a pretty good pace. Get out of here. Oh, that other Rappi is way too far. I'm not dealing with him. Except there's like 5 frames for 2 cast, but it saves 90 from not getting hit. It's so true. 
I was like, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Is the dwarf on trying to charge at me? Sorry, buddy. There's a giant rock between me and you. It's almost like I stood in a specific spot on purpose to avoid you. I'll use regular Barda here. Look at me using text. Oh, I missed the... Or... Rappy, whatever. Guess I'll kaboom the boxes. I mean, they're usually photon crystals and either a red coat or they're, uh... Something useful. Whatever. Yeah, the fact that episode 4 is photon crystals in every box, I'm like, I'm going to check them. I'm <laughs> just like, you know, not every ID gets 13, but... I like that Tiggy actually left the work for us. I think that's the first time somebody has ever tried leaving a warp when I make that check. Thank you, Diggy. I'll try to take it next time. Not like I need Mag Blast. Yeah, I may eventually try the Wild Arm remake. Once this is over... We're probably not going to jump into Wild Arms 3 right away. It might be act after our, our October games. But maybe in November, Wild Arms will resume. Though that feels more like an ominous threat. <laughs> like, the Wild Arms will continue until morale improves. I'm so going to get hit here. Whatever. I wasn't in the right spot. My bad. Dunlaw. Poor Zoo. Oh, the challenge, the trial music. I will say, even though I haven't watched it, I do- or not watch it, I've not played it. I do think I enjoyed Snake Eater on PS2, watching somebody play through it. So I guess for like a tactical, or like a stealth game, it's probably my favorite. I don't know if it's my favorite overall- I don't know what to really classify it as other than a stealth game. It's not like an action RPG per se. Leave on the title it originally called it like tactical espionage game. <laughs> Meanwhile, I play Metal Gear Solid One, and I'm like, we infinite ammo bandana go brr. <laughs> just shoot like a million bullets. Like ah yes, the way the game is meant to be played. They're like, huh? What was that noise? And there's just like 30 million dead guards. Hmm. Four enemies. Uh, start crossing. Ooh, this is gonna be so bad for me, I think. Ooh, wow, how did I not get lasered or hit by them until I got out of that pit? I thought for sure I was going back down the pit. Or being a second in Gray Fox is my code name. Nice. Was it just like one of your Japanese animes? Get out of here, Grand Detonator. first played that game, I had all but one of the uh, unique Psycho Manus voice lines. I think I was only missing one. It's like, so you like to play Soy Coden? Oh, 
scammed. I guess I could at least three seals this, I guess. Yeah, I think another one, I think one of them I don't think it was possible for me to have, because he had a, what was it? I think he commented on Psychonauts. Or not Psychonauts, uh, whatever the other cop game he did. You know what I mean. Oh, your resistances are opposite here. Oh, that's so awkward. So he's weak to lightning, so at least I can have fun. Wait, is nobody joining me? No cannon rouge from the team? We gotta teach you to cannon rouge this. This saves so much time. As we learned the other day, cannon rouge hits every part equally. You gave your CR away? Oh no. Rip. Almost healed. So close to being frame perfect. But so far. <laughs> I'm apparently the solo carry. <sighs> Almost got it. Listen, I'm gonna practice the frame perfect heal. I'll get it eventually. Thank you, Calvisham. Oh, I got knocked down before I could try it. That's so sad. I had to do that in, with the spinner. There we go. Yeah, Baran's launcher is scary because it's very e easy to uneven hit that. It technically works, but I get scared every time I see it. I'm not gonna lie. The, the fear, the fear of the crit hitting one of those things unevenly. Yeah, I was kind of surprised that Cannon Rouge. I always thought Cannon Rouge did different damage per target, but I guess it just selects it per blast. I guess it's useful. It's not something I've ever really thought about before. Like, I knew it would be useful because it would hit four parts, but not because the damage is also even. So, the more you learn, I suppose. Boom. I'm gonna go collect my boss tri fluid. Very important. Oof, badged. Damn. <laughs> I didn't see Calvisham's other comment. I saw him saying he didn't say he didn't play anything from three forward. <laughs> I think I saw two with nostalgia. Yeah, that game had just way too many puzzles. That that puzzle per room ratio was insane. Like actually out of this world at the end of the game. I think in 65 or 66 rooms, we had 37 or 38 puzzles. Like, it was actually crazy. And that includes hallways. I'm like, why? There's so many puzzles. Game, please. So we'll do two more, and then we'll do, like, two TTFs or something. Check on the points, see if we inspired somebody to finish up the runs. August Atrocity went up 20 points. So somebody else is grinding it currently. See that chat? We inspired. See, I'm used to hitting just A repeatedly. And I'm like, wait a minute, there's an event. 
Don't go to crater. <laughs> don't go to crater. Think it's pasta punk? Maybe. At least I can say we put in our we put in our hours. The people tune in the stream be like, "Why are you running pod?" I'll be like, "Listen, three hours in, you need a break." <laughs> like, I'll be like, "How many hours did you run today? How many of them were towards points?" That'll be the great silencing factor. Three fifths of my time will be at least towards points. Like that's I think that's a more than fair ratio. If not, uh, if not literally like 75%, I guess it depends on how many hours I put in. The only thing I brought me with me was Glide Divine for debuffing. It's just, I love that I just genuinely didn't care about any other ones. Like, listen. I mean, I guess I could. I guess it doesn't matter if I leave three seals on, to be honest with you. I didn't bring Riff away with me. I might as well do it. Devices are out, it's over. GG. Just put Tiki closer to combo kill potential. Here we go. Going in. I got this enemy will never hit you. Just politely stops just to get hit in the face. What a nice door fun. I guess we're here. Bonk. Yeah, we'll be uh, wrapping things up here. Got a lot of characters close to 180 so far. I guess I didn't never. I guess I didn't play by Rum Oral today. That's fine. It wasn't even me. I had like a brief window of opportunity at the beginning, but that was about it. They're definitely in Tiki kill range. <laughs> Delore plus Xcal from UCAS equals GG. The formula doesn't lie. Ouch, I have been lasered by Dwarfon. I'll be the bait for the team. Listen, if they hit me instead of somebody important, I'll take it. I'll take Tiki's warp next time. I'll pop the boxes. Oh, a 13. Hey, we were just talking about you. See, this is why we check these boxes. The reward is real. Cool. I think I was talking with Chris. He wanted a 13. I'll probably just give it to him, to be honest. We are talking about ways to power up the Hue cast, and I was like, oh, I didn't realize you didn't have a 13. I think most people would agree after playing Hue cast, 13 is kind of like, kind of a big game changer, especially for like a 170 Hue cast. Big damage. I might just give it to him later. Nice little surprise.
think I have a spare one floating in my bank. But always having more is never a bad thing. Especially if I plan on making more hue casts, if nothing else. I'll probably have to get four more of them. Give three if you need some, maybe. They're not like an immediate rush. I think it will probably end up making uh, two rocket seals I think, during this event, starting on the weekend. I have to talk with Hellcleave when it would make sense to do them, Saturday or Sunday. And I have to also make sure that there's nothing else. I think I'm good for both days, either way. The way I see it is if I make a pink ID rocket seal, then I have a character for the future. And then if I want to do my own solo challenge, I can just make a blue ID rocket seal. And then I'm like, everything I want? I guess one thing I never really tried to do as much was Pink ID uh, RT. Like, technically you could do it. It's a shame that, like, their best items aren't in that quest, but the quest itself is actually still not that bad for them. Is that something where I'm, like, kind of learning where... I guess I could have experimented more with IDs. I'm trying to decide what I think is the worst overall ID for RT. Like, Viridian mostly just has LNK and then good seabed, right? It, it, it's like nothing. I mean, technically it could get a frozen shooter, technically. There's, you know, there, there's some decent value hunts from that. Yellow ID is the classic Galatine. It's got really strong hunter items throughout. It has good box drops. We've legitimately gotten barriers from it, like, constantly. So I, I know it's pretty good. Uh, blue ID... I... This is okay. You you trade in, like, a, a really big payoff item for just a lot of Jaya, but there's nothing wrong with that. It still also has a good seabed. In fact, I think it's probably the best seabed of those IDs. Just that it doesn't have, like, a lot of, uh, Del Beaters to take advantage of Psycho 1. It could get, like, some super weird off-chance V501. I get hit. Oh, I stopped him. It was too late. The bullying was real. Okay, I'm just gonna gel in. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna compare. I definitely thought Viridian was the worst for a while, and then I'm like, oh their value really is just an early temple. It's not a bad thing necessarily, just that there's kind of not a lot of reason to do the quest normally. I guess it's pretty powerful for like those LNK resets, but like legitimately you get like nothing in CCA. It's so sad. They they have the just hands down worst CCA. Out of your rapies. But technically their seabed is fine. Just their psycho one chance is lower, but there's only one. So whatever. Apparently, battles are spelled backwards, got the sigh of a god. Yeah, we got scammed. We'll do one we'll do one more scammered in. We'll do a couple TTFs. I know Tiggy wants those. Craving is real. I was gonna say, if the runs go really well, I could do three TTFs. But I'm gonna be wrapping up by midnight. <laughs> yeah, they got Sigh of a Dog. Seals. Tempest Cloak. I'm all set up to kill Scamberton. I will say, like, I have nothing but lightning boosts. You know what? I'm willing to live on the edge. 
not gonna tornado me. <laughs> See that? I did, I did, I willed it into existence. I was like, thou shall not. Oh, I got the heal glitch. Yeah, I did it. Oh, that was so good. That was so good. Hope you enjoyed it, chat. I got the frame perfect heal. Checkmate. Too early that time. It saved me a little bit of time. Uh, I almost saved it. It was pretty close. I mean, it's still going to stay in the same room. I think it was still faster. As long as we only miss one, it's not that bad. Yeah, as long as he just immediately goes down now, we don't lose that much time. Oh, he's not. He's actually trolling. Oh, wow, this is straight trolling. I got you, Tiki. I like the theme, but man, this was definitely the worst character. He had like some really jank infinites. Roberto was terrible, chat. He had very dumb juggle infinites, but it was like, oof. The min execution to play that character, actually insane. Oh, hey, Dragon Skill. Luck material? Not bad. My money from the quest. How much money am I up to? 600,000. I definitely have to deposit after this. will be the final pod and then the rest will be uh, TTF. I was gonna say I'm being carried by level 200s. Just gonna pass out. The power overwhelming. Into the counter I go. I really wish that they forgot to program that correctly. And I wish that when you did this emote, it actually like dodged attacks. Can you imagine? We're just like, hold on, hold on chat, missiles coming. Ducked. <laughs> that would have been the new meta. So you want dragon scale? It's true. You know what? I would want another dragon scale. I could probably trade it for something. It is worth a decent amount of PDs. There you go, Promethean. How's that? <laughs> Frosty says still need my perks. We'll get there eventually. It definitely will make uh, certain runs a lot easier. Especially if you plan on doing tower. Alone, Zabuda. A large green scale from a dragon. Is the worm boss considered a dragon, though? 
honest question, is it? I didn't think it was. But I guess according to the item description it is. I view it more as like a giant worm than anything else. I guess it shoots sort of like a fire breath attack. Either that or it's some very dumb wordplay on like worm versus worm, like W-Y-R-M. Patch, this sucks. On the plus side, so glide divine from over there. I think these will probably pay for a few ad slots. say let the record show I've still not seen Dorf on a Claire. Rest in peace Dorf on a Claire. I'm not convinced you exist anymore. Compare that to like the 10 of Mill Lilies. <laughs> like we got quite a few of them already. Hmm, not the best place to stand in, but I could stand over here just because. What's on draw? Yeah. Ooh, another challenge theme. I think that brings me up to over 90 photon drops again. Figure out what to do. Oh, let's pop boxes. Can I get another 13? Nope. I'll leave a warp sort of near the items. <laughs> I can hold them for you, nice. I was gonna say, if you did really desperately want PDs, I would probably pay PDs for the 13s. I don't even care what their stats are. It would save me some time later. Like, I get 13s every now and then due to checking the- Like, I think I've literally gotten all but one of my 13s checking those boxes. Because multiple IDs can get it. And most importantly, purple ID can get it. For the zoo here. I'll need four for the other few casts. I'll give one to Chris. That would make five. But right now I have- one spare, but I'll probably leave it spare for new players. Please get a nice little debuff. Yeah, Stark. Ooh, I actually killed him with regular Barda. Disgusting. Though. 
gonna say goodbye to my telephone, but I'll need that. Yeah, I like we're foeing in this room. If, if the bird isn't hit in single player, I can just use it to kill this entire room with a beat of fire. Like, I like these little spawns. I wish we saw this kind of, like, spawn patterns where, like, a spell other than Gafoe gets focused, or there's something else that's, like, reward a gimmick. I like the idea of potentially, like, each room having, like, a different need, like, this is the Hell Room, this is the Paralysis Room, this is, like, the Force Room. Hitting it after payoff in practice, would, or, yeah, payoff in practice would be interesting. some BS, unfortunately. So many levels here. Oh yeah, that's right. I could just record it, or resolve them from here. I don't even have to time it. I think he's gonna tornado me. Oh, cannon rouge. Okay, so the trick, just make sure line up dead center with him. If you shoot from the side, it won't work. I'll take the damage. I didn't even think I was punished that hard. Well, now I got punished hard. <laughs> if he had spinnered there, I would have been fine, actually. Slightly too early. That speeds it up significantly. And a rouge is so nice there. <gasps> oh, but I don't have, oh, I don't have jiggly hair. Oh, I got hit like I wanted to, but I can't make his like hat sway or anything. Fortunate. I got truly robbed, chat. <laughs> I walked backwards into the room. That was interesting. Okay. ETF time. 
Um. I'm gonna say if Tiggy wanted to level the force, I will give Tiggy the opportunity to switch. Otherwise, I can play for. Curiosity, how many badges am I up to? A disgusting amount. Nice. Either way, I gotta put this stuff away. Stick with you, who cast? I could play Ranger then. I'm so sad I'm running out of item space again. I need to just take a character and get rid of, like, most of these items. Get, like, these multiple slicers. They're good, but I don't need this many. Oh! The Frosty offering to Bow Wow. Murphy's still around. Dude, Murphy was looking to hop back in. Murphy might skip. Ooh. Repeat the once the red rank. Oh, sorry to hear that, Murphy. Hopefully you do get some rest. I'm also feeling it. That's why I was saying I'm probably... Three would be a stretch. If we clear under 12 minutes both times, I'll do it. If it's like 13 something, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> Hi, right, Chad. I'm breaking a character out of retirement just for Tiggy. That's how you know. That's how much you know I don't care about leveling anymore. Just like, don't mind me. Just casually bringing in 200. I gotta put an Excal back on him now. Okay, he's got Glide Divine for the boss. He's got a Heavenly Arms on. Why? Is he that far off the cap? Kind of. He could probably add up instead if I wanted to. Now I was gonna say the squad is here. Okay, where is it? Okay, I need a bringer. Step one. Where's the other weapon that I need? Yeah, here it is. 30 hit X cow. There you go. Serious business. I actually don't have a shield that would speed up this fight. That's sad. We consider that in the future. I'm wearing God Technique already, right? Okay, good. So that at least buffs my foe damage. I leave three seals on just to be immune to the boss. So would anybody like to join the uh, the hit squad? Although I'm gonna warn you. I am very n out of practice with stunlocking with this character. I will appreciate any assistance to get the initial stunlock. Especially as player one. It's so awkward as four as player one. I know what Tiki means exactly. There's like a set distance I know I could walk and then do it. Like, uh. That's how I feel trying to do that Gazan lock. Sometimes I actually get Bowie. That's the worst. I need to make sure to actually prep it going in. Boom, boom, boom. I was gonna say, trust me, whoever is joining, the carry is real. We don't care what you are. <laughs> you get carried. <laughs> well, sees the party level is like, wait, yeah, pretty much. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be in charge of the buffs and debuffs. I glide divine specifically so I could debuff balls as soon as possible. I can Magical Piece if I want to, and switch into Kfoe Merge on the other boss phase, just for more damaging stuff. I V101, V801, God Technique, Heavenly Arms. I could technically Adept and get even more resistances, and also still cap my ATA, which is disgusting. But if I just truly wanted Falls to never do damage. Okay. 
Surprisingly, no one is jumping in on a three-man 200 TTF. I think this might be the first time I've ever seen this happen. <laughs> so we're gonna say we're gonna say going once, going twice. Parameter will join the next one. Well, no one wants to get carried apparently. So what I'm going to do is, Tiki's probably going to Confuse Trap the beginning room. I'm going to at least lure everything, and then we'll maybe leave Promethean to go onwards, because I think you could get a heart here. And Tiki's really broken, I barely need to assist him. No, I had enough. Even I whipped out the X Cal. I'm like, wait a minute, what am I doing? Um, I got a gold badge. Nice. Wait, that's not a gold badge. Get out of here. <laughs> I was gonna say, you know, it's messed up when <laughs> Force is throwing hands. Okay, I promise I did not heal you, Tiggy. I healed you in the other room. That was definitely me. Yeah, okay, buff time. I'm gonna say the army of golden swords wants to have a word with the bosses. Resist alluring this. It's too good. Uh, there's uh, there's a very high chance Tiggy's gonna get the glitch. Oh, the heal actually saved you in the other room. Nice. Yeah, I'm figuring you were disking. Oh, actually dead. All right. So while that dies, I'm gonna hold this direction. I should be near the warp, so I could get the early thing. Tiggy might be able to slime dupe for free. Badge checks. Oh, I overshot slightly. My bad. Whatever. I tried. I saved a little bit of time. The best part is I could probably still solo kill that other enemy because I have a 30 hit Excalibur. Oh, I'm not at max ATP. Hmm. You're bad at slime, dude? Ah, just three gunshots and spam fire trap. It'll be fine. I believe in you, Tiggy. Wherever you are, Tiggy. I'll pull him over here. How's that, Tiggy? The three attacks, flames. We're gonna train Tiggy. Oh, we're desync, probably. I think you only did two attacks. Yeah, it has to be a triple hit combo for reference. I will do this to slow them down. We'll train Tiggy. It's very easy to do with the pistol. You just go pew, 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 and then spam fire trap. Oh, hello. I got paralyzed in the hallway. That is so rude. Try to slime dupe. One, two, three. I never tried it with Gafoe before. Does slime duping work work with Gafoe if I do this? Oh it does. That's stupid. It's funny. Oh well. We 
Double train Tiggy. All I did was slime dupe, I'm letting you know. Like every every TTF was like the greediest slime dupe run ever. I'm gonna invent a new slime dupe meta. I mean when we have a good team we can actually clear every room while waiting for that stupid thing to spawn. Might as well just go for it. I'm gonna go for it. I'm going for X Cal. There we go. I'm gonna hold down and right, and for some reason that'll put me down and left mostly. Yes. Up. I don't know why I refoid there. I should always resound. I need to remember if I'm playing with people that uh, use Dark Flow that I actually need to assign Tri Fluid to a button. Oh, I don't get a couple kills here. Three. Do a quick little badge check. One thing I have to practice too single target resta. I used to remember how to do it. I'll have to look up the trick again. There's a way to basically cancel it so that you don't target with Resta. I think it involves opening a menu while you're healing. But it's like... It's one of those things I just don't practice. I'm, I'm sure it's very simple, I just don't remember. I feel like it involves opening a menu to cancel the targeting. I got silver patch, that is so rude. There we go. Right, I'm gonna believe in the team on this one. Oh, you can bring whatever you want in parameter. Listen, I'll be your character's, like, almost personal babysitter. If you stay near me, I'll revive you constantly. <sighs> one, 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 one. Oh, I've got sound on my quick menu. Oh, maybe I'll do that. Oh, you'll go for stun? Oh, that's good. That might be better. You more ATP. Worst thing that happens, I could just join in for more stun. I'm learning. Oh, you're stunning with spread needle. Oh. Oh, I thought you were stunning with X Cow. Wait, no, I didn't want you to do that. Never mind. <laughs> oh. That, oh, oh, I thought you were using Axcal. Yeah, don't do that then. Oh well. GG, rip. I thought you were setting up for the Gazan. I was like, wait a minute. Is this Sparks, thankfully? That's always good. It's definitely like night and day. That 15 accuracy makes a big difference. You're gonna make it a big difference. There we go. Here, um... I'm gonna put a floating Gafoe out because when I do this, here's the whole room. It's a force tech tip right there. Thank you, Gafoe, for popping like the one thing that needs to get popped. Here, we're just gonna be supportive and glide divine. get a revenge on the sorcerer. That seems fair. Okay. Demons, please. Thank you. Funk. this. 
Aw, oh, no, I get interrupted. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. Yeah, I was hoping that that would not stunlock me, but it did. I'm good. Not enough damage, sadly. I will heal, because I know Tiggy can get his buffs back, or whatever he wants to do when we go through. We're good. He could gear us all, if he wants to. <laughs> Max Greed. Yeah, hell yeah, go all the way down. Yeah, that's... See, that room is why I don't care if I get healed. Is that a monolith? We got time for it. I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was Chris at first. Wait a minute. I think he's still sleeping. Invaded here, I can't believe it. Magical piece. Get a couple of Bowies without hopefully getting absolutely murdered by these. Should cover most of them here? I was gonna say, yeah. I guess if I spam Gapoli, this is fine. I just got a Zalor first. The team doesn't have to worry about clearing the other things. Should keep the spinners mostly away. What I've learned is if I at least swap into Glide Divine, no matter what the boss does here, it should be good. Thank you, Glide Divine. Ooh, I was not expecting the boss to die that quick. I actually unequipped my Glide Divine. Inky damage is real. It's like, wait a minute. It's like, didn't that boss have 10k when I swap weapons? What happened? Where'd it go? Uh, okay, well now I got a Glide Divine, sadly. Uh, might be a small delay here. There we go. Better than nothing. You know, I'll take that damage for just three people. I'm pointing, I'm like, that's where Falls was. <laughs> There's only a crater now. Yeah, that was, that damage was kind of insane. That was like a 5k jump at the end. Actually silly. Did you? Oh, you dropped Masetta, okay. I was, like, I was like, you better not have dropped me an HP material. Masetta. Okay. Right, get out of here. Here you go, chant. Thrall was proud. There you go, quest is up. Sky Hugh cast. The Seal J Sword beckons for you. I just, 
What are these creative conversations? I don't understand. Say the squad's rolling out. Yeah, I think I can go for the stun lock. I just need like a tiny bit of assistance. Because not having to wait for monitor saves a lot of time. I didn't lure a sudden kill. That's so sad. Tiggy actually got it? Nice. Hell yeah, Tiggy. Hell yeah. So nothing else. Just just casually just get rares. It's fine. It's easy. <laughs> just play on my stream. Apparently people get rares like every other run. We wonder if they actually actually use it on. Nice. Cancel my shift though. It's all that. Whatever. I'll cast it again later. How rude. I mean, do I just walk where the thing should be? It's like over here, right? Damage glitch acquired, so I don't even need to move. So I just I just need to physically stare at the minimap for like five seconds and I will learn. So I've learned that I don't need to be there, so I'm already where I think the warp is. How close am I? Oh I'm actually it's really that far that far up. Huh, okay. I'm gonna remember it's kind of a line next one. Okay. I always thought it was kind of in between the walls, but I didn't realize it was literally in the corner. We're kind of like in the giant sea stick room. Full of border walls for everything else. There we go. Nice slime dupe. Then fire trap in the middle, Tiggy. And then kaboom the slimes. Yeah, there you go. Then if you want, Tiggy, if you want to be extra spicy, if you freeze trap the lilies, you can kill them in two specials. <laughs> You, you can even special, special, special. It's very funny. It kills them very quickly. I go that. I only do that if I'm looking for badges, though. Which is not super often. But it is funny. And then we'll believe in Tiki or somebody else slime duping in the final room. Bronze badge. Nice. Where is the bronze badge? In the other room. We'll let them slime do. I'm gonna go get this badge. Never mind. I had to take the walk anyway. There's a uh, gold badge here. There we go. That's why I like slime duping. <laughs> just this wall of items appear. Hell yeah. I need to rem yeah, see, because I didn't remember how to self rest them. Like, I don't want to heal Tiggy. I'm gonna make Tiggy upset. <laughs> like, but I need to heal. <laughs> like, wait a minute. What do I do? I'm trapped. There we go. The panic was real. That was fast. See, level 81, level 82. Final impact, ew. Get out of here, you're terrible rare. 
you're bad and you should feel bad. There we go, put in a nice little Zalor. This should result in some really fast kills. Look at their HP. Like, Tiki didn't have to do anything. He's about to get free badge checks. Look at that. Dead, 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 dead. <laughs> I am not gonna lie, I thought that fireball was gonna kill me. I walked in that room at 100. <laughs> it's like no pistol equip. I was like a hard, 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 hard commit. Out of here. I don't really want to deal with this room. I don't have confused traps or anything. Oh, I'd like to unpause the music when I get a chance. I'm actually doing really well. Nicely done. Out of there early. I'm not messing with this. I got frozen in a way that I can't hit it, that's awkward. Bonk. Thank you, Rufoe. I'm gonna go for it. Up, up. Let's see how it goes. I gotta walk forward a little bit, but maybe to the left. I don't want to be in the center of the room, because that's too far. But I need to be in a position that I can hit the monitor confidently. Oh, I had it on the wrong menu. I that. My bad. You want to do that? That's the downside of this menu. Because I had to heal via the menu, I'm from being scared of Tiki, it messed up this menu. Sorry. I should be good now. There we go. I wish there was a way to default it every time. But I gotta just remember. And when you're really tired, you don't remember. I had the menu open, but it was on Dime 8, so it was like too many presses. So unfortunate. I don't think the boss is gonna last long enough for Tiki to do that much. Also, Tiki typing in the Twitch chat. I, I will notice that actually slower than the in-game chat. <laughs> I can be real with you. I guess you did it during the cutscene. But I was like, yeah, I don't look when I'm concentrating on Gazan. Go this way. Hmm. I want to go this way. Ooh, the fast strats with no traps. That was ballsy. If I had more ATP, that would have killed. So sad. Oh, Newman put in the work. I bullied that enemy. I can finally heal in peace. There we go. Just, I, want, I want my heals back. Diggy's health. <laughs> Just look like I wouldn't be able to buff. There we go. Okay, I have invincibility, so I can abuse this for a little bit just to clear everything near me. After this, I gotta move. Actually leaving me a pretty big gap to abuse this time. It's actually not bad at all. Like the longest I've gone without getting hit with the force in this phase. Really 
unfortunate movements from them. Wow, no no hit phone Newman chat and I get foeed. That almost never happens. That is an actual rarity. I'm gonna equip Blight Divine early so I can get earlier as the lore. I think that's the right call here. That Zalora chat mashed it. Ah, oh, I rebuff. I did it. Now I can mash the lure. The team should do like a million damage here. That was some big damage. Wow. So anyway, early Zalore matters. <laughs> I think that was like a 2.5k difference. That was uh yeah, early Zalore kind of matters there. That skips so many phases. Like, nah, get out of here. Yeah, that was fast. We'll do one more. We're gonna level up the level 84 character. Put him slowly closer out of kill range. Pop those. Pop those. Excuse me, 86. <laughs> you have graduated many levels. You leveled every boss. That seems about right. Yeah, Tiggy went woom 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 boss dod. Right, I think while playing with Tiggy, I need a uh I need trimates assigned because I I can't handle not being able to heal. It's driving me crazy. Um I can't star atomizer. That would make Tiggy sad. I guess I could put this here. So I don't menu. I don't like to put important things on that menu. But I think in this quest I'm willing to make an exception. Now I have to actually go buy trimates. Get rid of all my diamates, because I don't care about these. There we go. There we go. Freedom to heal at last. more or less five hour stream. There we go. Ash to enter at the end there. So I'm gonna make sure that it's set up on techniques when we go into the other room. That'll be my other check, and then I should be good. Because I have everything I needed to set up. I don't like this one as much because I lose sight of the minimap, and sometimes the boss does glitch. It skips monitors, which is very annoying. It doesn't happen like very often in the first wave, but it happens enough. Out of range of buffs. That's so sad. I tried. Bonk. I was gonna say, Tiki going for a back to back uh, heart item. So nice. 
It tried. And I went, nope. Boom. I don't even think those boxes are worth opening anymore, now that anguish one isn't really a thing. Kinda sad. Wow, a 45 hit final impact. Shake your head, chat. What a disappointment. <laughs> Can you imagine? Would have taken that on like et literally anything else. Bad. Right, so it's like here-ish. It's like a little bit from the wall, but not like a huge amount. Might be more here. We'll figure it out. But this is definitely much closer than the first time I did it. So it's a lot further north than I thought it was. That would explain why I kept missing it with the the other things. Love how Chad has consistently instant killed it. <laughs> Just there's there's no point to me being there. I'm like, listen, I, it's gonna die. I believe between a Romar and a Hucas, I think will die. Wow, I was within two steps. That was that was a pretty good adjustment, Chad. Two steps, I'll take that. Absolutely, what a time save into here. I still get to see what the boss drops. And I leave. Oh, I think I almost beat people back to the other enemy too. It's crazy. Uh oh, let the slime dupe and commence. I was gonna say in parameter, if you wanna slime dupe the final room, you can just go straight towards it. You don't have to worry about clearing the next room. I got your back. Um, at least get this clear out of the way. Oh, I think if the uh, we'll hit there, that sucked. I'm gonna do one, two, three. One, two, three. Nice. Bonk, bonk. Wait for chat to teleport. Thank you. Um, who's oh, <laughs> somebody's not in my range. I will spam shift it until you all have it. Deal with it. The band will come eventually. It's not important at this moment. Actually, just got mauled. Wait, does that mean I could just stack a Gofoe here and just not care? Yeah. It's funny. I'm like, if I'm already in the right position, dot dot dot. Nice confused. This should be a lot of kills with the lore. Look at that. Like, two kills instantly. Tiggy's going back. Protect Tiggy. Congrats. Oh. Yeah, there's congratulating the player for hitting level 200. I've seen them in the lobby a couple times. That wouldn't surprise me if they're still on block 2. I safety try made it. The, the panic was real. <laughs> it's like, those things were all over me, and I'm like, I don't have a good way of getting them off me. They are not confused or frozen or anything. I want nothing to do with them. The good day, sir. Can I demon you in time. How did did I really knock down with demons? That's so annoying. I feel like that's really incredibly unlikely on a single hit to get the knockdown. Super unlucky. Bye. Right. I'm gonna 
gonna make sure. Scalloper. And you, we're good. Okay, this time I'm set up properly. Gonna take a couple steps forward to make sure I get the targeting no matter what it does. And then I'm gonna turn the camera and Gazan spam. Let's see if I could do it while tired. Get out of here, this boss. This is the Reaper's power. Get out of here. How are you? Welcome, Chris. Hope you're doing well. I was gonna say I got an item for you later, Chris. Room. Get rid of all. Um. Got a Bowie stack. Then resigned. Unrested? Oh no. Hopefully you get more rest. Indeed. Vivi said you were looking for a 13 earlier. Hmm, box popping. This ultimate difficulty, indeed, it is one of the matter. Really glad to find this. Buff. Uh, uh. Be pretty safe. Mashing that heal button. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I will heal. Magical piece. Is that a monolith? There we go. I was gonna say you missed it earlier, I was Chris. I was playing Faux Newman. I actually managed to not get hit while gefoeing. I was just really, really shocked that I was allowed to do it. I'll probably get hit here. Oh, no. Whew. Close. He almost got me. Let's try, though. Hmm. Go back here. Stack more to Bowie. Yeah, I was very shocked. I was like, wow. Normally, I just kind of get bullied. That's like, no. Like, right here, I have the great opportunity of just never getting hit. I can risk this one. I'd like to pop this wave if it transforms. Aw. Kind of worked. Kind of. Yeah, Gafoe makes you locked in place for so long. That's why I just expect I'm going to get hit whenever I do it. Giant Sword says no. Okay, I've equipped Glide Divine to enhance their damage, so if they're aim well, you should get like 3k off of this boss immediately. Here we go. accidentally heal. Just have to keep the level 89 alive. No worries, Tiggy. I'm mashing the debuff. This is all you, team. Go for it. Do that damage.
Goodbye. Poor Falls. <laughs> I'm just imagining one day Falls tries to fight us and then it's just like literally legit three Hugh casts, <laughs> like fully speared. Everybody is dark, they have dark flow and like a triangular formation. Like, go ahead, Falls. Pick your side. We're pointing and laughing where Falls used to be. Poor boss. Wow, mind material. Oof. Hmm. 40 hit arms. That's disappointing. Let's do a quick check. I didn't put everything away from the other character. I'm just curious where we are currently. Forty-six gold, forty silver, fifty-five bronze. Keep in mind we put away like two stacks of seventy, so I can easily have another fourteen gold just from that. We're at oh, way over eighty-nine. Keep in mind all the characters I'm playing as have been holding a photon drop. That way they can just pick it up regardless, just due to how many have been dropping. I think this character might not have it, only because they've only done like two runs. We're gonna put our items away, but I think we're done for now. have a smart link. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. I can see if you have 13 now. A2 is 10 away from 10k. I am way too tired to keep going, to be real with you. I'm gonna go listen. We baited people into leveling it, right? Didn't I say we just, we had to leave it close. They're like, listen, we, we, we put it within the final 100. But like, just go. You could do it. It's all you. It's all you, Avinia. You can do the rest. We did over three hours of point grinding, and then the rest has been personal runs. So, I'll check with Hellcleave. If Hellcleave is good tomorrow, we might end up doing the superpower leveling with Hell Needles. So chat will to look forward to making possibly two different rocket seals. So I'm probably going to level a pink one and a blue one. Because so I think having pink would be good for uh, ultimate CCC. And then blue very hard would be good for Jaya's on very hard as well as RT's. I would rather do that. Promethean says I have two for sure. I was going to say, I think I'm too tired. I need to stop. I gotta get up tomorrow, too. Let's chat. We'll possibly trade later, not tonight. Close this. So, what did we learn today? Well, Tiggy, Tiggy learned what it's like to have another Heart of Skin, so congratulations, Tiggy. Yeah, I'll probably pick him up at some point, Promethean. Uh, but I think from the standpoint of other drops, Tower was pretty disappointing outside of uh, Handgun Mila. I don't think we got like a good variety of drops. I guess, I guess we technically got a Rika's Claw in there that was decent, I guess. And then we don't really expect anything in August Atrocity, but somebody ended up with a Slicer of Fanatic, which honestly, given how bad some of those drops have been, I will consider that probably one of our <laughs> better drops in Atrocity. Yeah, yeah, somebody got a, I think a zero hit Mila. <laughs> It was the V though. This time. So I think that was worth it. So what we learned is probably August Atrocity 2. We will probably pe play Pink ID going forward into it. Good. <laughs> Damn, Tiggy mad. Tiggy's like, you already have two. <laughs> One's enough. But, uh, yeah, I think from that standpoint, Pink ID might be the right thing to do for August Atro Atrocity 2. I think from the perspective of, let's see what it gets. One chance at limiter, which is whatever. You get a lot of chances at lame, a decent amount of Disco Brave Man, a decent amount of Slicer of Fanatic. 
I think that's strong enough to call the run, I guess. Oh, good on the group. <laughs> this is from Miracus. Thank you. Oh, is gold. Was it? Is that what White ID gets? My bad. I thought it was Mila. Whoops. Let me check. Let's learn in real time. If so, that's extra funny. I'm not going to lie. Go Wand was on Del Lily, which we didn't get. B502, nothing showed up. Epsilon gave us the Rika's Claw. Look at Del Beater. That is too funny. Yeah, I guess it had to have been Handgun Gold. You're right, Imperimeter. My bad. I thought it was Mila. There you go. Of all the hunts you would ever think of getting gold from. <laughs> like, I don't I don't think what I do Maricus hunts offhand. But it did happen. Oh, I guess that's kind of nice. So that's a little special compared to Mila. Sadly, no Lava's Cannon from Gibbles. Yeah, White ID has just a ton, a ton of, uh, Ubers. So as I said before, I really don't mind running that quest. Oh, someone got gold that I ever sent my statement. <laughs> Damn, Tiggy, Tiggy's like, goodwill over, cancelled. So yeah, it looks like they're getting close to the final 10k, but hey. If for some reason we do our fast level up stuff on the weekend and Tower somehow still doesn't have 10,000 points, which keep in mind we put in like a good 40 or so points towards it. Like we added quite a bit. Um, we'll, we'll probably go back to Tower. But for now, I think we did what we can. And to no one's surprise, Forrest is now at 81,000. Shake your head, chat. <laughs> Just shake your head, of course. It went from, what was it, 80, 84 to 81,113. Tisk tisk. So yeah, it is what it is. But hey, at least people are playing the atrocities. And then you can say we also participated. But I think, chat, that's all for now. Let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video of the VOD, I'd like to say thank you for watching. And I guess see you in the next part.